We not your little n We the big n <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, you n is Rudy Pooty, ooey Louie, what I usually do. This, that, jump, start, breathe, ooty ooh. All I'm on the rise. You n ain't even making five mil. Me and Murder, we making five still. Yellow man, killer thriller camp, Jackson five bill. That five shit. Pat, tat, 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 a bit. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> we don't want to empty out the bank account. I got killer. Yo, James Princeton. <laughs> you 60. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your acronym. <laughs> this ain't the 80s. <laughs> I'm sorry. This ain't no Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> don't push me. Because <laughs> I'm close to the edge. I'm telling you like this. You failed. Young boy NBA, young boy NBA. Told you <laughs> see the dick. <laughs> I'm gonna put this into perspective, Killer. Give me a sec. Go ahead, finish. How the f you let this little f let you crash out? Yo, Shakur, my n you boring. You didn't throw your hands, Killer. I'm sorry. What? This ain't watching your fights. What are we watching? How you got more energy for us? And 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 you could have used that anger in your fight. <laughs> Kill her. You ain't say nothing to Kendrick. You ain't popped out and showed shit. Like, how you guiding the youth when the youth guiding you? This beat an owl up in front of you. That's not how the game is played. This ain't buying that Beijing you putting in your head. Can't nobody hold me down. Oh no. What? 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 Dot f them up. Dot, bop, bop, dot, bop. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord, but it's probably a minor. Pardon me, murder. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why, like, why young why y'all don't use headphones? <laughs> oh no, they playing the music. These uh, yeah. hey, it, it don't matter where you at. These yeah. do this. I seen them walking past. Yeah, like this. They, they did like this. <laughs> they don't want to spend that dub. They don't. <laughs> they what, what would that boy say? <laughs> right, what would that boy say? What did that boy say? You got Trap Conquest? What? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Michael Rain? <laughs> hey! We back, man! The Lou Young Show. You know what I mean? What is it, episode 12? We don't, we don't really, you know, rock with 12, but this is episode 12. Right. Damn, you that is crazy. Yeah, man. think about it. We're going to say 12.5. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Because. Yeah. We don't, we don't rock. And the way you, you moving. Man, in we don't shop. need I'm under the radar, yeah. low key. The way you moving in the shop, we <laughs> we ducking twelve. We really on the move. We on the run. Um, we got a special guest in the house, man. Um, I was well, I would say what from shy rack, yeah, to the shy, yeah, right, yeah, huh? You 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 might know him as Nook. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, oh, we man. might be we might be smoking on a Duda pack. You right. know, Duda. we might. We on that Duda, man. You know, I don't know what y'all smoking on. We smoking on that Duda. That Duda pack. I don't know what they. I don't Come know. on, man. Who shot Rob? Allegedly. Allegedly, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know because it was blurry. The scene it was. was blurry. It was. It was almost like one of. Them, it was uh, a mask. It was a, a hoodie man. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't know. It's like Ooh, one of them Grand Theft Auto it was. type vibes. We know we know Zay was there. Yeah. So he yeah. I think I he did. You, I thought you you should have shot Zay. That's my cousin. Should've. I can't kill my cousin. Blood, I mean, yeah. You know, blood ain't always thicker than water though. <laughs> that's my cousin though. I can't you know, we gotta yeah, talk. I feel it. Um like I say, we got Chicago's own. Homegrown. Yes. Cortez Smith, hey. man. Clap it up. Come on, few. Clap it up, man. Come on, man. We this is a hey, I'm a fan. Off the off, off the, you know, 
you know, off the uh off the cuff, man. I'm I'm a fan of your work, bro. Uh just as a fan of the show. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I got into it cuz cuz my sister uh B Lynn, right? <clears throat> Shout out. Shout, Shout out, out to B Lynn. That's why I hate you. You are like a little bitty boy instead of a crown man. I hate you. Well, you know what? I hate your too. Do something. My kids to my car, Jody. You ain't going nowhere. Get your hands off me, girl. See, there you go again, showing off in these front of these neighbors. Take your back upstairs. You and these neighbors. I hate you. I hate your ass too. Shout out to B because we all got connected because of uh, the friendships and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, so I I had to initially I I had to like go on a binge watch them old yeah you, had, you you took it back so you took it I, back to one how long has shot been out man what it came the, out I, I I think 2015 if I'm not mistaken that was season one okay so mistaken, yeah. maybe 2019 is when I got you know with other shot that's when I came on okay so yeah. what I did was I watched every season. Mm-hmm. Right, and then that's when they killed the boy off, Easy E. Yeah. Right, and mm-hmm. then, then you, then I would see you in in bits and pieces, like when you first came on. Yeah. Me personally, as a as a nigga, right, I knew I had already known that you was hitting tip on the low. No, in Keisha. The show. Keisha, Keisha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keisha, not mm-hmm. tip, right. Keisha. I knew. So you saying like I be I be piecing stuff together. So now when it comes full circle and that's your kid in the show. What's well, crazy? I already knew you was the daddy. Yeah? Yeah. Once they once they went to the uh hospital and they said, you know, that's not that's not the father or what have you. And you see that knock? Huh? Did you see when I knocked on the door and they was like, So who is the father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knocked and they like showed the face. Yeah. The fans didn't catch that at No, at no, first. no. I, 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 I was already hip. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I say, man, you 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 took it from from bits and pieces to being a, a, a intricate piece on this show, man. You know what I mean? Beautiful. That's I wasn't expecting. How how did that come about? I think just really being like a stand up guy, bro, and always just like staying true to myself, <clears throat> like and and think about the little things, like always being on time, mm. all speaking to everybody, like like you can ask. Anybody that have worked with me from the janitor on up to the director to the producer, I treat them the same way because, you know, I'm normal. I didn't been in that position before. I didn't waited my turn. I didn't seen so many people then, then, you know, like florist in this industry. And I yeah. stood and I was happy for them. Right. Right. You know, congratulating them. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, yeah you, you don't, like, damn, it's hot, man. <laughs> you don't, you, I'm not going to shoot them. He think he think no, I'm gonna shoot. No, I don't not have not nothing on me. Cause I, the, I ain't gonna he kill nobody. A shot with him. <laughs> but no, like that's a real statement though. On any in any industry or any level, mm-hmm. like I, you can you don't have to hate on people. No, you know what I mean. You can you can wait and not hate exactly and, and appreciate what what's happening. I see what you're doing now. You know what I'm saying? See. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm nice. I'm my wordplay, man. I see. Real talk, and I don't even write down. Hey, it, hey wh- if he used three fingers, he would have been a pimp. You that's see what, what he said? No, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I was raised by a pimp. Mm. Un- allegedly. Allegedly. You see what I'm saying? Right. So you ain't for slapping me, nobody. It's just a, huh? You ain't slapping nobody? Who? We ain't slapping people. No, 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 okay, no, no, okay, no, right, no, okay, no, no, right, no. We don't right, want to go, go to jail. No, we ain't doing that. No, no, no. Yeah. We, no, we got to keep that's it. That's why I came here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ducking it. Yeah, yeah. So, but, like, I see how, like, I don't have friends, homeboys, when they, when they winning and stuff, yeah. and, and it could be a loss for me at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, not a loss, but, like, I could be down. Right. You know what I mean? But I could still see and appreciate that and get motivated. Man. You know what I mean? I promise you. Yes. And, and so now it's like, okay, in 2017, 2018, I was watching others flourish. Flourish. And was happy. Happy for them. Text Bro, keep going. Proud of you. Proud. That's all. Yeah, I ain't. I don't need no tickets. No, I just. I don't even need to be around. Hey man, keep doing you. Do you now? Twenty twenty four. You him. Let's talk about it. 
right? So let's talk about it, bro. From from 2019 to 2024, now you are him. Him. You feel me? Like your scene, I ain't gonna lie. Your last that 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 uh that last episode, yeah, all the episodes, but that recent episode, how mm-hmm. you really took ownership, took charge in there, bro. You got women in my family talking like. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? You right. Know what I mean, like, so I know they throw, they throwing that cat at you. Bruh. What's going on, man? man? Let, talk let's to me. let's talk about when I first land here in Atlanta. In Atlanta. So so you like like you said you from Chicago? So I'm from Chicago. I don't be out here a lot. I got family out here. Okay. And you know I I you know I, I text and I I flexed a little bit of my my muscle. Went out last night. You gotta you gotta. But how you flex though? <laughs> like you you like you can't like. Man. Are you when you walk in there? Honest, I ain't gonna lie, cause you cause how tall you is? Six one. Okay. Yeah. See, majority of the see we an anomaly. Is that the word anomaly? Is it? We anomaly. Anomaly. <laughs> we in a we in a class of our own. Right. We, we tall. We 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 tall in this industry. And you know what? They be so shocked, and that's how I get like a lot of women. Just they when they see me for the first time, like, oh, you're tall. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you gotta think. How they, they be shooting it? We in Atlanta. They they right. used to Jermaine Dupree's out here. They are. You see what I'm saying? You know, slouch socks. <laughs> Fun size. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 now you know, we like Shaq in our industry. Oh yeah, for sure. You dig what I'm saying? For sure. So well, and I we mean, over that 200. We over that 200 range too. So we you know. Right. So we can handle you know a 200 piece. Yeah, for like, sure. You know what I mean? With no with with no help, no no spot. I ain't got no type, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I be, I. I bench press two twenty five quick. I couldn't say that. But, I'm, no, I'm uh, saying, but right. see, a body weight, <laughs> body weight. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah, my body weight. Yeah, I got, I got him. You know what I'm saying? I got him. So it ain't mm-hmm. nothing to lift her up. Oh no. See, you yeah. know? Nah, real shit. Melvin, you remember the frog? Listen, bro. You know? <laughs> and, and folks don't know. You want some breakfast? Mike Tyson was playing in the background. The, yeah. He it was like on the big screen. That's one of them. Remember them old school fat back? Not the fat back, but like the. Um, I know what you're talking about the di- the you know. square big yeah. screen. Like if you had that, you had money. Oh yeah, for sure. Back then you had Seven, you had money, yeah. right? Yeah. And it was like a CNN plasma. The plasmas. It was a CNN. I guess they just had a CNN interview with Mike yeah. Tyson playing in, in the, the background, background while Melvin diabolical. Right? Yeah, evil Jeff. Right? 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 So, bro, talk, bro, talk, tell me, bro, how, how is it? Like, I know with new fame and fortune comes with a lot of responsibility. How are you able to stay focused with, with all the cat that's being thrown? Uh, and all the, and, and come with distractions too. Man, being, being, a, being a, uh, a girl dad. Okay. For sure. Being a girl dad and knowing that I wouldn't be, com- if I was that guy, so this is one of my uncles told me. He said, uh, "This recipe's my uncle David." He was like, uh, "Are you comfortable with the man that you are right now? If your daughter was to bring him in," Ooh. and I said, "No." Nah. So he said, "You need to change." Damn. So I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I step. I step. You know, we I pivot. Perfect, we not perfect. You know, I euro step every now and yeah. then. Yeah. You got a manager over that coochie, bro. Oh, oh we hey, human. We ain't judging nothing. Come on now. I'm a girl dad. I know, bro. Right. Listen to me. We dude. got needs. You know. They, our kids got, our babies got needs. Right. They daddy got needs. We stressed. Come on, man. You know it ain't. It's life. Take a side mission. You know. All right. So by you being a girl dad, right? Right. You are too. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So that we yeah, so we, we girl dads on this show, right? Now, this is off topic, but you ever like now that you're growing and everything, right? Like you ever girls be like, Oh, I just love the way you're such a good dad. Right. But that is but how, you don't but that you, is how I get them. This is so cr- it's bad, but you just being a dad. Right. You just doing what you're supposed to do. What I what I what I'm like I have to do this. Right. It's no question about it. I'm not asking for no pat on the back. Nothing. Or high five. We post, we fathers, we not baby dads, we fathers. No, fathers. 
La la, put your chin up. There you go. I focus. What makes you so confident that you can beat her? I know I can beat her. You're just so confident. What? Why is that? Because I believe it. You haven't played in so long. I'm, I'm curious. Is you know, is there going to be rust? Is there going to be nerves? What makes you the one to beat her? Real ballers just stay ready. You just, you're so confident. I'm confident, and that's all to it. It's stunned. It's. Oh, can I stop you right there for a second, be close? Ooh, you done messed up. If I, if I may, if I may, timeout flag on the play. Technical on you. Luke, we're trying to, I'm trying to, I'm, all I'm trying to do is do my job. Let me stop you right there for a second. <laughs> what, what she has said, my baby girl said, so with so much confidence the first time, and what you keep doing, you keep going over and over again, asking the same shit. And she keeps telling you the same thing. She done told you what's happening. We popping, she popping, when she popping, and you keep fing with, with my baby girls, you see? Mm. I'm trying to ask her questions and do my job, and you keep fing it up. No, 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 hold on for a second, because I don't want to go to the white meat on you, okay? I'm not trying to snap on you and take flight. Can you calm your father down for me for a second? No. What you got to understand is you are dealing with a six year old child. No. Nah. A little black girl. She gonna, now she gonna be playing tennis with me way longer than that with me and your old ass in the grave, Jack. Okay? You're dealing with a kid. Let her be a kid. It's a, it's a six year old little black girl. Little black girl. I can see she's a black girl. Do you know how it is to be a little black girl in this world today? You don't know that. You don't know nothing about that. She done told you what's happening. We don't stay there time and time again. Leave that alone. I'm on your side, brother. And then leave that alone. Right? Exactly. So yeah. what I say that is like, bro, I be like, okay, I ain't posting a picture of my daughter every day, right? But like, if somebody see me out or whatever, or I might post or whatever. Oh, he's such a good dad, bro. And it's like, baby, you don't even know. If I could be the shittiest dad in the world. <laughs> this can just be my day. I just been having a good one. Right. I, I might have just picked up. This could be the first time I picked it up in, in three years. years. You don't even know. You don't even know me. And you just say, oh, I, that's luck. Because they don't see it. They need to see it more. And by, you know, us portraying that. Not, mm -hmm. my, my, not even portraying it. Actually doing it. Right. And they seeing it. And they around people that portray that like they're a good dad. You know, they just, they melt when they find the real one. Yeah. You know? And I get that a lot. Like, even when I post my, and I try not to post her as much because I want her to be a kid. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And, yeah. um, it's hard though with social media, bro. So many DMs. I get that more than even like, congratulations on your work. I get that more. Like, I love how you stand up as a dad. I love, and you only see three pictures or so on my Instagram. Bro, that's a real thing. Like, like just, just being a father, or being a, just being a, a father, just being there, being there. Right. Like, it don't, like I be telling people, like, you know, when you, my idea, my situation wasn't ideal. Right. right. It's, it's co-parenting. You know, you're right. It is what it is, you know, right? You win some, you lose some. Two uh, different households. Right. So Same I know they that. household do a little different than how dad household is. They're a little stricter on, on her mom's side. But me, I'm, you know. Now, it's flipped. I'm I'm strict in the motherfucker. You like a coach? Oh man, I'm coach. I'm 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 coach Boone. Sunshine, gotta see the tackle. Read the tackle. See the pitch. All right, you throw the ball a mile. Gotta read the tackle. Gotta see the pitch. Brett, throw my stuff. I'm Denzel. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. the morning, get up, bro. Like, Shower. Like it's. But it, it, for me, it's like I'm, I just want to uh, establish a certain like etiquette or, or or just a standard. Right. For don't scare them though. No, we ain't. No, no, no. Okay, like, okay, yeah. but it's it's like I'm a coach, but at the same time, all she got to do is smile, or, or 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 get that light voice to me, and I'm and I'm done. I break down. You know what I mean? So it's like. I'm one of them, like, I'm like a substitute teacher. I'm strict <laughs> in the beginning. Then I, by the end, I'm like, man, lady. fuck it. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. I like that. I I, I would, damn. I, I, See what I'm saying? I like, can relate. Man, hey, look, man, y'all go ahead and play Uno and shit. Live. Yeah. You know? So, bro, that's that's real. Because it's hard at your nine to five at the other house. You got a nine to five over there. It's hard right. over there. So come, you know. Yeah, nah, man. Come that's, live. That's, that's big. Because I. 
you'd be surprised. That's my that's my biggest fear is that she ever meet a, a dude like me. So what we gotta do? But see, I can't I can't make up, up for what I did in my past. Oh no, it's it's done. That's that's, that's, that's who that's, made the man right now that's sitting there. Tears and years. Right. We had to. Shout out to Soup. You know what I mean? That real talk. <laughs> that's I can't like that's that's why I am the man I am. Well, we the man we are today. We gotta go through the trials and tribulations. We have to. It's ups and downs. There gotta be a storm before we, you know, them flowers blossom. Have to. So talk about what got you here, your upbringing. Man, um, it was it was through trauma. Like seriously, um, right. even when I was first born, like a year or two after that. My grandmother, she lost her oldest son to gang violence. Mm. He was uh, associated with the, I know y'all got him out here with the GDs. He was associated with them. Mm. And young age, this is like 18, 19. And he had ranking. And the thing was, 18, 18 he had ranking. And the thing was, like, if you get money, it's politics. Like, they want to tax your pocket. That's just like having an agent with us. Mm -hmm. You can't be too doing too good out here if you had an agent because the agent going to call, like, Bruh, why we ain't touching none of his money? Yeah. You know? Right. So it's like, that situation happened, and unfortunately, his life was taken away. This is at, I was one. Mm -hmm. Going on two. This is like going through trauma. So it's like seeing my grandmother and my mom go through their trials and tribulations in life and just figuring it out, mm -hmm. and my mom being a single parent. Man, it just made, it just made me have like tough skin and just understand life. And then like 2010, uh, my her youngest son, shout out to you know Mario. He he got murdered the same way. Damn, twenty one. He didn't even really get to experience that, you know. He got killed three days after his birthday, and um, in Chicago. In Chicago, right around the corner from the house where my grandma stayed. At. Literally, you can step on the front porch. You can look through. It's a it's a it's a um a bar right across the street from. You can see in that lot, the parking lot. You can see where he got killed. Literally. So she didn't want that life for me because they all said in my family, and I and I, I don't try to say it, but I'm like the damn near like the golden child of the family. Everybody knew that it was gonna be something. Hey bro, hey, I know go ahead. You I don't wanna it. like I don't wanna say that, I but we just had that at the at the fair reunion. They was like, Yeah, we just heard that you said grandma you know, said that you was her favorite. I'm like, I'm not saying that, but I mean. The writing is on the wall. But she knew she didn't want that for me. And um, she tried to put me in, like, different things, you know, sports and all that. It just wouldn't stick. And she went to work one day, and one of her coworkers was like, um, yeah, she put her son in, in acting in this uh, competition called Pro Scout. And she was like, you know, got the information from them. And then she came back and was just like, you know, I, I want you to do this. I think you should take modeling and acting more serious because. What age is this? This is 16. This is a. Uh, this is December 2010. I was 16. Okay. And um, she was just like, I think you should go. So she signed up. She paid hella money. I think she paid like over a G around that time um, to even get me in it. And they was mm -hmm. acting like, you got headshots and all that. I didn't even know what headshots was. I, st I just took mine for the first time <laughs> three days ago. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yeah? Bro, I, I had a quick one just because I, like I say, I, I'm bro. I still don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm but you, but you, 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 you doing an amazing job. I, and that's what it have to be sometimes, though. Yeah, I mean, if you overthink and overanalyze it, that would literally set you back because you, you already got too many thoughts in it. If you just yeah. free spirit and just jump into the game, yeah, and just do it. So you went, y'all just went in on faith. We went in on faith, bro. So the uh, that Friday, they was like, well, you don't have everything you need. Right now, so come back tomorrow. So we went to, uh, she had, luckily she had like a little Sony camera. We stood in by the wall, like empty wall, took a picture. Went to uh, Walgreens, printed it out, you know. And uh, that night I was looking at uh, this uh, Pursuit of Happiness because I met Christopher Gardner when I was a freshman. So wow. that's I'm my like, movie too. Bro. That's my movie, bro. So I'm like, I relate to that. So I remember that that scene when he was, uh, Will Smith was with his son. He was playing basketball and he was telling his son, like, stop. Yeah. Trying to kill his dream because... You think your dreams is is shattered? I said, "What's he say? Uh, you want it? Go get it. Go like he went whenever, crazy. Don't let nobody tell you you can't." So I kept replaying that, looping it, 
I got there, I forgot everything. I was winging it. I was saying anything. I don't even know where I, I don't even know what I said. I was just so passionate in it. Right. And it was just like that was amazing. I'm like looking at my mama like. So this is like so it's like a <laughs> so basically like a was it like it's not a, was it a talent show? No, it was a uh, it was a, a talent search. It's not even oh. a talent show. These are the judges to get you qualified. In the competition to okay. even be signed by reps. So basically, it's like it's like you, it's like you and three judges, right? It's yes. Like nobody else in the room. Nope. Just lights on you. Lights on me. Three judges. My mama is uh sitting in the back of me. You got the other actors that's getting ready to try to qualify. And I came in with a basketball. I threw the basketball, and I was just like, I did whatever. And did and like did like a pursuit of happiness joint. Yes. Like I'll, reenactment. Yes. But it wasn't that. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was close. But it was that enough. So I get qualified. And the only thing that set me back at that time was tattoos. I had tattoos literally at uh, 15 years old. I was 15 when I got my first tattoo. What, what was your first tattoo? It was this little cross right here. And you didn't probably cover it up. Man. Yeah, well, I didn't. Not really cover it up. But, but I'd add it to it. We ain't going to, you know, we shout out to God. Right. I'm going to try to tell my nephew right here. He wanted to get a tattoo. But I'm saying. No. Wait. I don't want to say, wait, get, we got to get in the gym a little bit. Because if cause you get it, you're skinny right now. Like, that that cross going to wrap around to your forearm. Man, like, we don't even talk about the body tattoos, how I had a tattoo right here, and now it's, it's over there now. We don't talk about that. Now, I'm, now I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> and then, for me, I done, I done got a... Uh, I did some dumb, dumb tattoos. I did. I got a uh, smiley face. No lie, I was cool with the tattoo, man. I just wanted to see what it's like to tattoo myself. Don't do that. I put a smile. I put an evil smiley face right here. Right. Yeah. I'm, I, now I, I don't know what the. I don't. I was in that type of time. Now I put a. I, I put a girl that. name on me. Oh, you crazy? She put something crazy on me though. <laughs> so to... What's What's the trade? What's the the new hot? Yeah? Well, there's a lot more than the tour. <laughs> she put that tour talk of a lore on me. <laughs> 2000. Hey, boy. Yeah. Man, you got to cover it up. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even. Uh, long, long time ago. But, yeah, I had the honor. I, I, I thought it was an honor. I had to honor her for her job and her talent. But, man. Man. It's, uh, but, yeah, my yeah, tattoo. But I think from with this industry, I'm learning. I was just on set yesterday, right? Congrats. I appreciate Congrats. you, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I, um, so this is my, like my second movie I just did, mm -hmm. right? But every time I'm on set, well, a few times, they be like, uh, oh, yeah, I noticed he has tattoos, right? Okay, they on me. So it be throwing off the wardrobe a little bit. So they got to kind of prepare yeah. for my or our... Edgy a look, yeah. You, cause yeah. yeah, you gotta have it. You did you get it covered up? So, uh, what they they did was they they just had me in the long sleeve. Yeah. So I so this is, yeah, because the first time I had to deal with it was uh, remember the game? Yeah. The show the game. Yeah. You was on the game. So not when it was good. When it was trash is when I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I stopped. So my no, you remember because okay, so. <laughs> The first one was on the CW, I, mm -hmm. I believe. Now I was a I was a big fan of that. I thought I was Derwin and Malik reincarnated, right? Real shit. And I was a fan of that show when I was in school at Tech, right? Then I think that went away, and then they came back with like a, another reboot. Lauren London was on that. Yes, one. and it, the the visuals was way it took away from it. It wasn't like the standard. Yeah, it was TV a lot show. of it was a lot of like. It was almost like a how TV shows are a film now. Yeah, it was a format. It was just, it was a little yeah. So, it, but it wasn't too bad to me, right? Mm -hmm. Then they, then that third time they tried to come back, and that was on like Paramount Plus. And so I'm on the set. I'm one of the, the football players right. on it. Man, it was, I mean, it was trash. It was terrible. But I learned a lot being mm -hmm. on the set. And then they were telling me how like. Even me being in my shoulder pads and stuff, I had to wear long sleeves and cover my tattoos up because it was saying like a tattoo artist could sue them. They can. So you have, you have to get it cleared. Yeah. 
liability. It's definitely for liability. Your, for your tattoos. Yeah. So even on like this tat right here, they they put a tat over it because I couldn't get in contact with the uh, oh wow the artist. I got this at a tattoo convention in Chicago. So I don't I don't even remember his name. Nothing. Like, yeah. I liked his work. We uh -huh. had a conversation. I told him what I can pay him and what I wanted. And that was it. So that tattoo right there, yo, but they put another tattoo they on top of it. They put a tattoo on top of this. Damn. To, you know, to have license of it just in case, you know. Yeah. Well, it, it works. I mean, it works, but less if you. you, you Easter you, egg for y'all, because y'all probably never seen this, but I, I do have a tattoo over it, the original tattoo. Because, so, and then you got a tat. Yeah, they, they put tattoo. They put that tattoo right yeah, there. Yeah, you know, that, that symbolized a true, that's, that's like, Gangster them, right? So and, that's a okay. true gangster. So okay, so in Chicago, right? Word. Gangster them. Is that a word. Chicago word? No, I done made it. I'm gangster them. Gangster them. I'm gonna put that on the shirt. Gangster them. So in Chicago, like, it's rough. It is right. I'm from DC, but the stuff I hear in in, in Chicago is crazy. Yeah. Right, bro. Is it? Is it? Slowing down or is it speeding up with it's, the crime and everything like that? I would say it's it's more so speeding up because you got the younger generation from like thirteen to nineteen is heartless. And they, they trying to get these they trying to get a name off it. So I don't even think they feel like this is reality. Because you can't think it's reality because how y'all moving, you can't respawn if a nigga kill you. You can't. This is not GTA. And they living in a GTA era that how they moving and crashing out, like they can really be responded and be come back to to life as a like a, a clean slate. Like no. So they, they be thinking that they they like even if they die, they're coming back. How they move, yeah. How they be how they talk, how they how they they body mannerisms and how they just like how they crash out and how they can take someone's life so fast. I literally had a uh, uh a guy that I grew up with, he got his life taken away. Shout out to him. He got his shout out to Fox. He got his life taken away um, at a park down the street. He was trying to do something for his son. They had a mm. conversation, went wrong. Some females got involved. They called some dudes. They just shoot the park up. Took his life. But I, to be honest, it, even in DC, like in DC back home, like I don't even like going back home. I'm be hunting with you, like. I moved out, well, I, I came out here for school, right? Mm -hmm. Right, And then I played ball, and then I've been back and forth. You know, but now I'm here, like, but it's like, it don't really matter where you go. Same shit happens. Like like you say, 13-year-old yeah. stuff. Yeah. Bro, D.C., man, I remember I came home, this is like 2018. My mom just went to the store real quick. She was just out and about. Come back, she got robbed at the, at the gas station. Yeah. By little 14, 15 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, even out here in, in Atlanta, these 13, these boys holding Dracos, Dracos. in skinny it's jeans. Bigger than them. Like, with a, with a poo shiesty mask on, and it's 99 degrees outside. Once, Crash out. Cr yeah, these young, these young dudes, that's how they diabolical, because, like, how you wearing a North Face jacket in 100 degree heat? With a, with a mask on top of that. With the hoodie on like this, I mean, head to with toe. With all black on, with the black Air Force Ones tied, extra tight. But nope, in, they got it double tied. But when it's cold outside, they won't wear a white tee. Yeah, and a hoodie. That's it. It's ass, it's, yeah, it's ass backwards. <laughs> it's, it, it is ass. It is. You know, they say it get it get hotter in the summer. You know, so it's like they gotta they gotta stay on defense. What they say now, they don't they don't say be careful. They say stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. Yeah. But see. But see, in the hot, when it's hot outside, that's when these young boys go. The, yeah. the young, they, it get it get crazy when it's hot outside. They hunt. Crime is hot. Everything hot. And you never really see them outside, but you always hearing about something going on. That's right. crazy. So that mean they literally outside hunting. They just hunting walking around. Down. Like yeah. I say, they, they be walking around with that goddamn. They walk around with that phone. <laughs> the young, right around. Right no. They walk around. I put. <laughs> mm, mm, what is that? Mm, mm, yeah. You ain't him. See what that boy say? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <Well>. Ha! <laughs> Man. Going crazy. When I see a young nigga doing this, 
near me in the gas station or, or anywhere. Let him, let him, let him do what he needs I, to do. Bro, I leave. I don't stay long. I'm gonna get my gas somewhere else. I, 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 yeah, I, it's it's something two blocks away from me. Um, by now speaking of you know Chicago hometown, your upbringing, um, like I say, congrats on everything that you're doing. Thank you. Um. What I notice is like the Chicago, like the shy majority of y'all are from Chicago. Not a, not a lot, but okay, um, a, a, a healthy amount is like the cat. I mean? So how I would say how close is it to resembling the the shy the like, or, or, or Chicago to the shy? Is it like as real, almost as real as it gets? Yeah, like I would say out of a hundred. On a TV show, I would say it's pretty close, like 80. It uh -huh. don't get as dark yeah. because, you know, political reasons. Right, right. But, yes, they very close. And they shoot on the blocks of of, like, of, of Chicago. Of You know, we were yeah. just, uh, what was like, um, when I first came on, like this was season three. We was over there on, like, uh, the west side of Chicago. And, like, two blocks over, they had a shootout. During set. During set. I mean, God damn. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And you got the little kids that's walking on the block like, damn, he's shooting that motherfucker. He got a full five. He naming a gun. But, yeah, how you, bro, they, they can name a gun but can't spell their name. That's crazy. And or read a book. Diabolical. Yeah. Motherfucker can't tie their shoe. But, but they can, pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah, that was 380. Yeah, he got, he got hollow. Yeah, he, he got a beam on. How? How you know that? Hey, hardball. Remember Harbaugh when they was walking home? Yes. That was some real shit. They was telling the tale tale. Yes, and the projects, yeah. they. But before they knocked it down, yeah, I got cousins from the project. That's how it was all the time. Like, they had a certain time when they had a, you know, they had to move around. Like, if they was into it, if you had the, the GDs versus the BDs around that time, like, it was a certain, it was a curfew that they had that you don't come out because that's what they had to figure out around that time, so. They probably had it from the morning to probably like 7, 8 p.m. I already know the people that actually stayed that do not, you know, fact check me. But this is what I'm hearing. But they fact check. That's a that's a Chicago joint. No, I'm just no, I'm oh, putting oh, it because okay, you know okay, a nigga okay. be like hell no that nigga went for they, yeah, they yeah, yeah. actually it was it was this time from yeah. this time. I don't remember all the detail, but he was saying from probably sun up to sundown you cool, but when the sun like don't, don't come out because we got some shit going on. So that been like that. God damn. Yeah. So, okay, so I noticed that, you know, the cast, y'all, it's kind of like a family-oriented vibe. Man, love them. I just seen, what's what's my boy, uh, light-skinned with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the braid, the dread? Um, oh, Michael, uh, Mikey, yeah. Mikey? Yeah. He, uh, I seen, he had a, he, he just had his prom. Yeah. Right? And y'all yeah. supported him and stuff like, like that. Sure. That's hard. You know what I mean? Like the. To have that family, it's almost like his family away from home. Right. You know what I mean? We are his family because we all, we spend so much time together, right. bro. You know what I mean? And to see him come from, because that was my, the, the first person, that was my first scene party. Right. Him, okay. Shamad, the one that played Papa, and the one that played Kevin, uh, uh, Alex. Yeah. I started off with them. So uh -huh. it was like, y'all yeah. my, my brothers, like, for real. So yeah. to see him come from, uh, man, a, a, a child to now you graduating. Mm -hmm. And become the man, like I had to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's 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 what's up, man. That was dope, bro. And just how how the the world took to it, like, damn, y'all actually y'all hang out, like we, yeah, like this, yeah. My... like I like they be thinking, like, okay, when it when the camera say cut, that's it. We all just going in our trailers and just don't talk. No, nah, we we human. We go through things. Yeah, and this make it even better when they say action, and then we just you building that you building, building that it. chemistry that report. exactly. Behind the scenes. Like the one that, uh, Burgundy, the one that played Keisha, like, that's like my sister, bro. Wow. That's when, when they, when me and her, we just bounce off. It's like, boom, boom, back yeah. and forth. Because it's like, we already had those conversations with, like, what we go through in yeah. our personal life. And them helping me transition into, like, this bigger role. Like, I came from, these people have been established for a long time, especially yeah. Jacob Lattimore. Like, yeah, bro. That's, Jake, bro, Jacob Lattimore, I just was watching Ride Along. I forgot his his ass was in that drop and ride along with he Kevin been Hart. Working, bro. He been working for, since what, like eight? So he damn near like the the big homie. 
the even OG, though yeah. you know, he he the OG. So who who he the young OG, bro? Who on the on the cast would you say will you that's what person that you did a scene with or something where you was kind of like starstruck, low, low key? Man, um, Lynn Winfield. Yeah. When she when she came on. And that, does she look good still? She still got it. Yeah. And it's that little look. Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah. hard. You tell, I, yeah. I can see why Martin went down. <laughs> I was just talking to her about that. She yeah. was like, that was one of her favorite movies that she filmed. Like, bro, she had so much fun on it. Bro, she, when Martin got his star on the walk of uh, walk. She Hollywood. was there. And she was talking about how Martin was shooting Martin, wrote and produced Thin Line Between Love and Hate. At the mm. same time, yes. he was doing something else and was going back and forth. She's like, y'all don't understand this man. Like, gave his flowers, like, in rare form. Right. You know what I mean? So you could, you could so by you saying she had fun on that, you could see the passion that she had when she was going there to, to honor him. Bro, genius. Genius, bro. I I had to I had to keep it within myself to even ask man call that nigga bro. Bro, I gotta see. Real <laughs> you talk, know? bro. Lynn Winfield. I just want to say what's up, bro, because I literally grew. up. I remember when I moved to LA in like 2015. Nigga, all I had was season one through five of Martin, and I just kept just like that's what put me to sleep. And it made me feel like that was at home. Like I that's because I watched that growing up. How old was you when you moved to LA? 21. Any young, and when you move into a different uh, city or something, like my rookie year, I'm in Denver. I'm from DC. I don't know shit about Denver. Every I got Martin one through five. That's all I needed. That's all I needed to get through. To feel like I'm at home. Yeah. Then Winfield, boy. Man, that, that, a legend. A the, legend. Uh, she, if I, I it couldn't have been me. Because. <laughs> I'd have tried to. I'd have tried he would have folded. He said he would have folded, y'all. He would have folded. I'd have folded her ass <laughs> like a lawn chair. You hear me? You you get them. You ever get them presses in the mall. Oh, Auntie yeah. Anne's. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, always. Oh, That's my biggest fan base. I'd have put her ass in a press room. Yeah. Figure four. <laughs> Call me Ric <Rick> Flair. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey, real shit. A lot of people forgot about Lynn Winfield. I feel like yeah. I don't think she get the flowers she really deserves. She getting them now. Hey, yeah. True. So, you know, we got a segment now that we building the show. You know what I mean? It's called uh, Y'all Must Have Forgot. Mm-hmm. Right? And, and, you know, it could be anything. Uh, I must have forgot about Chris Tucker on Money Talk. Bro, I just man, I I did a little reenactment of that on TikTok and it went crazy. I that, that's crazy. You even think? Shout out to the shout out to Dom, man, the the producer. To, I I don't know if he did that homework or if we just got lucky, right? Or God just blessing us. But I feel like people forgot about Chris Tucker on Money Talk. What? Goaded. Like. Flawless from the, even the beginning when he was in the, in the car scene, like yeah. What he say? He said, he said "Man, what the <laughs> f- think I'm doing, man? I'm not trying to get shit done." He said, "Cut, cut, <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut." <laughs> right. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> ah, killed that man. He killed it. He said, "Fat, P A, P A C, pretty hot and tempting." <laughs> Killing it. Killing it, bro. Vic Damone Jr. Vic Damone Jr. Vic Damone. <laughs> Junior, hey, Junior. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. Junior, Junior. Junior. Yeah, we all hang out from time to time. Bruh. Crazy. Don't get mad because I look better than your own sh- And just think that uh, he wasn't even the, he wasn't the biggest star on that. Um... My boy. Charlie. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. He was, was Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen. Right. And you would have thought that was Chris Tucker was it. He made him. Come on, man. The dude. The, 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 um, my man that played the dad to the wife. That's my man from Goodfellas. Oh, yeah. Yes. Huh? Paul Servino. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Legend. Like, he, he on there with legends showing out. Killing it. 
Come on, man. Oh, wait, oh, legend. That's like that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not how you start, bro. Man, it's, it's how not. you just perform and finish. For real, because you just look at look at me like prime example. Like I didn't man. go to the Juilliards and all that. Like I'm literally from the slums of the west side of Chicago, like Laverne and Quincy, right there. Laverne, Quincy, Adams, and Monroe. That's where I was back and forth into like everything that was going on around there, like drug dealing, killing, game banging. I always was like a step ahead of that. And even when I tried to game bang and sell drugs, the drug dealer he was like the 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 heavy. We call it heavies. The heavy over there, he was basically like, he seen me. And, man, I tried to do that shit, and he was like, this ain't for you, bro. He gave right. me $50. Go to the park, bro. Be you, who you are. You, this ain't you. I want more from you. So it's like all the hood niggas that was over there, like the heavies, they always wanted more from me. You know shout out, mean? Hey, man, shout out to the to, cause you, that, that's, Shout out to them. To the OGs, the real OGs that, that will, will tell a young, you know, a young kid, a young killer. Going in the right direction to, to get, hey man, if you're going go left, way. go this way. If you're going right, it, it, get back on track. Facts. And my OG was like super like plugged in the um, out west too. So it was like, even if I tried to do something, I tried to smoke a cigarette. I bought a cigarette yeah. from the corner store. And they called, the corner store called one of my mama friends and say, you know that boy smoking cigarettes now. And it's an Arabic calling my mama friend, like, yeah, that boy out here smoking cigarettes. But it take a village though, bro. Squares. That's what we call yeah, it. We call square. Yeah, smoke square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came home. She like, oh, so you smoke squares now. So you think you grown. I don't what? What you talking about? I don't cigarette? Me smoking folks, but hey, folks done forgot about cigarettes though. <laughs> if you think about it. No, no, real shit. I right, I grew up in a hot uh uh family. My my nana, R.I.P. my nana, my nana uh she just, she just, she actually just passed away Sorry, a couple of days ago, bro. So, you know what I mean? Dealing with a lot. So just certain shit, like just be a reference in my head. Mm -hmm. You know, her mom, I, I used to remember like, her my mom just having conversations, smoking cigarettes, legs crossed, that smoking was everywhere. Thing. You know, and they, like, you could smoke, you could smoke on a, a plane. You could smoke in restaurants. On you, buses. <clears throat> you smoke. A cigarette in 2024? You probably labeled a crackhead. No, that's crack. That one step away. That's how it starts. That's a gateway. That's my. That's my dad say. That's how it starts. <laughs> that's how, that's how, no, with that, the finger. That's how it starts. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> look, look here. We knew back home. We had them in our our, uh, our nonprofit. Uh, it's called Hope Finders, right? For at risk youth. And we 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 didn't care. I ain't gonna say his name, but boy got jammed up with a BB gun. My dad said, no, that's how it starts. <laughs> that's how it starts. Up that, and down. One step, that's it. One step. One step. <laughs> that's it. Because then, so that's how it starts. Um, what's another thing y'all must have forgot about? What do you think? What? Man. What's, uh, what's up? They, they must have forgot how like hard it is being a black man in America. I. You know what? They must have forgot. Damn, because I think it's been it's been swept over now with all of the nonsense. Yes. You, know, you got Trump, you know, Biden can't even walk straight, shit like that. So we don't even know who's going to rule, who's who going to be the leader of the, of the free world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, folks, I have forgot, it's still tough for a black man in America. Yes. This shit it don't is. stop. It doesn't. In every generation, every decade. Might get harder. You're right. I mean, I still experience it. Like, I, you know, that's even with this clothes that I have on now. I would still walk down the street and I would still have a certain situation where they would clinch. Because, you know, I got the tattoos. So it's like, they'll clinch right. first and see. Right. And be like, okay, he, he cool. Right. Yeah. So that's crazy. In 2024, I shouldn't be experiencing that. You would think it would change. Like, we, they thought, you know, we couldn't get no pie in life. You know? You're right. Like, they walked in immediately. It's just like a, you know what I'm saying? What do you, okay, you cool. Right. Yeah, definitely. I experienced something like that. Um, I had uh, ordered a little little black truck service, and um, we was on our way home from an event. I got mm -hmm. my mom, 
I got my sister, my two cousins with me. That's who kind of like stick with me yeah. when, I, when I pop out. We playing music. He he's a foreigner, but I'm playing Fisher. The the got an attitude. Uh, oh, the n man, <laughs> they got a hit. They got it. So we we end up, go. you know, we end up, yeah, going crazy. And I go. This nigga almost crashed. He feeling it. The, the, the driver. The driver. I'm like, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! You about to hit something? So he swerved over last minute to say, I was going to speed. I was like, bro, if you don't slow this motherfucker down, let me turn the mute. Let me take my phone out. Yeah. From the the ox, like, bro, I got my you got my mom up there. Like, right. Ch chill. Yeah. He gets mad and say, I never dealt with you people like this before. Mm. So I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, you people? You, you need to shut up. You a woman. You need to stop talking so much. You talk too much for a woman. I say, God, what, what are you trying to say? You, are you trying to question me and my patience? Man, if it took everything not to, uh, I'm like, you know what? See, that's, hey, we can't. But see, and look, how, how recent is this? This is two weeks ago. Okay. <clears throat> With the, uh, I'm going to church, by the way, y'all, and that, that helps a lot. No, no, 100%. And you ain't got to, you can just talk, you could, you could talk to him right then and there. You ain't, I, I talk to God there, anywhere, right? But I think Will Smith said this after he slapped uh, Chris Rock. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. It's Yeah. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. There you go. Huh? 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 I thought a nigga said something. Wow, dude. my wife's name out your mouth. It was a G.I. Jane job. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have slapped him, right? But he said, Denzel say, when you at the stuff is going good, when you're at your height, that's when the devil show up the most. Right? Yeah. So right there, the devil was you you on bro, you you killing it, right? Mm -hmm. you, everybody you, you going this way. You your trajectory is, is is you skyrocketing. That was the devil trying to get you to come back down. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So the fact that you said, I'm gonna let you have that. Cause that's that's gonna be if if you whoop his ass, who gonna suffer? Me. Right? That's gonna be his highlight. He right. he ain't gonna drive Uber Black no more. No, he gonna probably he gonna be a shareholder. He might have an LLC after that. <laughs> you funding it? Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So that's just a that's just a testament to when you on a high, don't let the devil show up and no. and make you go low. You know what even was harder too? Yeah, keeping my family level headed because they don't give a damn. Mother, I said, y'all, yeah. yeah, please, yeah, yeah. no, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Cause see, they ain't, they don't live life. I say, this is a language barrier that he yeah, had. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. say, just think what we just came from, y'all. We just came from a big mm -hmm. event. Yeah, I'm getting glorified. Yeah, you know the 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 camera, every the eyes is on me. Yeah, constantly. Let's take that moment and realize where we at and what this can turn to. Yeah, give that man silence and let's get home safely. Yeah. Everybody was in there biting. No, it's like, all good. It's all good. But when we got home, they said it in the house. Okay, that's amazing. We said it in the house. Get it out. Everything that mm -hmm. you ever felt. I would have did this and that and that. But do not do it to him. Because, see, we, 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 we ain't going back. No, we can't. Hell no. Nah. I can't Cause, see cause it. We, we, we're not doing that. Me and Chris Lofton call it that dog. We can't go back to that dog. Because he's from Chicago. Yeah. yeah folks, folks must have forgot about Chris Lofton. In Harbaugh. <laughs> and he was playing. Didn't he, and he was, was he like shortstop, second base? Yeah, let's talk about longevity. Like how. Longevity. Man. I must have forgot. He, he forgot. helped me a lot in this. Uh, yeah. Bro, he, and, and I'm, I bet him and Isaac Hayes. Is it Isaac Hayes? No, it's not Hayes. Isaac. Keys. Keys. <laughs> Say Isaac Hayes. <laughs> hey, charge it to his mind, not his heart.
That's my yeah. saying. That's my shit. My man. My dog. Never mind. I was, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. That's my shit right there. I like that. But nah, I was for niggas that ain't shit. Yeah. They said it like <laughs> 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 Baby, charge it to my mind, not my heart and my spirit. Oh, no. My spirit and heart is there. Real talk. But folks forgot, bro. Yeah. He been he he been in the game. He was on uh What's the Tyler Perry movie? Angela Bassett. Meet the and, Browns. Meet the Browns. Yeah. He was, he was trying to get uh um, Yeah. Uh uh um man. The, come on. I'm supposed to know these names. Me um, too. Damn. He went to Howard. Uh dark skinned brother. Um Come on. I'm trying to help you, mama. Who is he? He's amazing. Shout out. I'm sorry. We come on, man. We know him. Meet the Browns. Tyler Perry um, show. Who's the son there. on there? It's there. Damn. It's like it was it was right there and it just it just went Damn. away. What? We love you though. Bro, he be we you know what I'm talking about. He you know don't. you be rerunning. Nephew, don't. Nephew like you be rerunning and watching old shows. <laughs> what is this? Well we gon' Bro, we gonna, nah, we gotta get the man's name, name, bro. Bro, the black the the, the, the dark skin uh we, the women love him, bro. Would it would it would it be cheating if I pull my my phone out and look? Bro, everybody just look up Meet the Brown cast. <sighs> you don't you don't see the black the young black dude? Yeah, sorry if it's messing with you. Nah, he looking bad. <laughs> we gonna figure it out. We gonna keep on. We gonna figure it out. All right, y'all <laughs> y'all must have forgot. <laughs> y'all must have forgot about Tupac. As an actor. Oh, he was cold. But like, you know, he like, went to theater too. When I, I dug into that. a story. In Baltimore. M &J. Yeah. In, ba in Baltimore. That's your area. Right. Yeah. Ain't too far. Mm -hmm. Um, As great as a, a, a rap artist and a, a, I would say a, a leader. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, he was um, yeah. great speaker. You know what I'm saying? Very passionate about, about what he believed in. Right. Motivate all that. He was a great actor. Man. Yes, from a, in his in his career span, if you think about it, it wasn't even long, from like twenty to twenty five. So to have, uh, so you got to think. We're talking, uh, we're talking juice. Yes, butter rim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what's the one when he was the mailman? Oh, poetic justice. Poetic like justice. Top tier. Poetic justice. Yeah. What's the one? Was that the last one he did? Bulletproof bald head was, with the white dude. His... Bulletproof. No, gangland. 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 Yeah. gangland was his last. Right. Yeah. Grillock. It was either. It was probably. It was. I know it was back to back. Um, they pushed it out after he passed. Right. He already perished when they pushed them two out. But yeah, you know, um, I heard he was supposed to be in Baby Boy. He was supposed to have been in yeah. Tyrese before he before yeah. he died. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cause he gave him a feel of uh, Tupac with the ball head and yeah, Ice mm -hmm. Cube turned Lucky down. Yeah, and Poet Justice. He was and Tupac was also supposed to be in um, Minister Society. He was supposed to be uh, Sharif. Yeah. The 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 um, the Muslim. Yeah, he would. Y'all got to stop this, man. He would have killed right? that. He, he would have killed, killed that, that shit way. Oh, well, he would have killed it. He would have took it to another level though. No! I'm staying with him, all right? I'm, I'm staying. Killed it. Yeah. No, but but shout out to who played Old Dog. He's from Chicago. Lorenz Tate. Let's, let's talk about a goat. Y'all must have forgot about Lorenz Tate being a goat. Let's, let's talk about... Hey, hey, fuck that. That nigga played Frankie Lyman, man. Why do fools fall, fall in love? Killed it. That's my sh do you, bro, it. That is my. Sh why did you, did you did you catch him in Ray? Did I catch him in Ray? Six nine. Come on, six nine. Scratch it loud, find a thief. Come on, man. They were cooking. They were cooking uh, 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 chicken, chicken in the dark. He, he showed him how to cook. Ink well. What's the one him and uh, Tyrese in? 
Waste no, deep. no, 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 no. That's his brother. Nah. Oh, you right, you right. Waste deep. Yeah, you right, you right. Remember, he right. Like, he I was. went down, boom, boom, bam. He was, he was. He got killed. My bad. Yeah, he, he did. Oh, he, he got oh, killed. So you, oh, you robbed the place, huh? That was in the game. Yeah. He just kept doing that. Big meat. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he had a, his eye was, was his eye was supposed to be gone, yeah. He said, so you just robbed him. Man, I bust down, boom, boom, boom. That's my chain. Done. Killed him. Love Jones. Love Jones. Top tier. Love Jones. Him and Neil Long. Po- that, that's, that was like poetry in motion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that relationship style still goes on right now in today's time. That was a situationship mm-hmm. turned into love that got toxic and like they was battling. Yeah. That's still going and- on right now. He was a photographer, right? I believe so, yes. He was a photographer. The fr- gang related. Oh, we're talking about Tupac. Yeah, yeah, gang related. Gang related with Tupac's last name? Loren- wasn't Lorenz State a photographer? In, uh- I believe so. Yeah. And yes. in, in, um, Love Jones? Mm-hmm. No. I believe so. Was he? No. Or was she the photographer? You know, he I'm thinking- not thinking about it on my apps joint. I'm <laughs> He's not. He's thinking in too deep. No, I'm not. And that's one of my. You think it in too yeah. deep? I'm, they was poem writers. No, they weren't poem writers. Why didn't she, did she take some pictures of Lorenz Tate? Lorenz Tate took some pictures of her. Am I, I tripping? Know. Cause that's when I was like, I, I could, I was like that, and then I'm talking in too deep. Them photographers know how to get that pussy. The comments you know that about the killers. <laughs> I can see the comments. No, killing no, us no, now. bro. That photographers. So just um. Oh, you can kill it. Put your, put your, take that off your shoulder. Just lift your, lift your leg up. Watch bit. out. Let me, let me do it. Bro. That's how they do it. Y'all photographers need to do your job. <laughs> just, just keep it, keep it at that. My, my girl at the time, uh, she wanted to take some, some Valentine's Day pictures. For you? For me. Mm-hmm. I was there. And he still was trying to touch. No, he was very respectable. Oh, I had, okay. Oh, because I direct, he was there. What, what you need? Okay, all right, so yeah, do yeah. that. You need me to move this? I think that's a little... So are you... you cover that up. When you in a relationship or dating, right, are you like... You protect... You real protective? No, I'm like, man, I, man, I let them be them because it's like I'm not your father. Right. And I don't want to create a space where you feel like you can't come to me and be yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So... I let them be them, but like we gonna have some respect, but I don't be like a drill sergeant. Like you need to be here at this. You should know. We should have respect enough to know if it's four a.m. You better not be right. That's just you just. I mean, that's because I wouldn't. That's, that's diabolical. That's right. crazy. But like for me, I'm like, if I'm like, like I say, if we, you know, if dudes gonna look, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, I'm just like. They supposed to look. They supposed to, cause I'm doing. I'm that mean that I chose someone right. I did a good job. Yeah. If I walk past a dude and he ain't even looking, I gotta check the drawing board. And not call me shallow, but hey, man, I I need to make. Yeah, we need to compliment each other. Yeah. Like when we walk in a yeah. room, it need to be known. It don't supposed to be me and oh he. He with somebody. It's supposed to be them. They are together. Yeah. And they come in as one, a force. Supposed to shake the room. Supposed to brighten it up. I gotta shake the room. Oh, you gotta shake the room. Ooh. Shout Ooh. out to Pop Smoke. Ooh. We're back, baby. <laughs> I better much hear much. Uh, I'm in the corner. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he hit that. Huh? Uh, bro. Hey, that's my. Hey. <laughs> Y'all forgot about Pop Smoke, man. Man. Don't, we can't forget about Pop Smoke. That boy was about to be a fucking legend. Legend, bro. Damn near like another 50 cent. <sighs> Goddamn. Get, get these guns. Look, and I jealousy. That's be, the that's, guns. That's the be jealousy. jealousy. That green eyed monster, bro. That's what I'll be saying. Get rid of it. Motherfucker be hating. For real. Just because they ain't on. You got the same 24 hours like me. Be productive, nigga. I'm not telling you to lay on your ass. I'm not telling you to stay in your, your auntie basement and idolize what we got going on. Then when you see me walk the streets and me taking advantage of my 24 hours, you want to take that away from me? I worked hard for this shit. And you want to take this away from me because you lazy and you can't get up and do it for yourself. That is insane. 
Then you take me out. What you going? What, what you got now? Nothing. Now you sitting in them four walls like, damn. You probably talented as hell. Probably know how to sing, dance, everything, draw, all that shit, and you just threw it away. You know how many talented niggas in jail right now? Oh yeah, but shit. Dude. Making fire out of batteries and shit. Man, cooking these good. Niggas, these niggas doing TikTok challenges now. They didn't built the phone up. Now they got an iPhone of their own. They didn't made it out of motherfucking Q-tips and. What my dog? <laughs> <laughs> what my dog say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wicked. Mm-hmm. Cold. What? Cold. Cold. Cheeky wicked. And it was that one decision that when we talk about that Uber. Yeah. That thirty second decision. You gonna go left or you gonna go right? And every time you go left, it just. Well, that's a moment of clarity. Yeah. Speaking of moment of clarity, you know what I mean? We got a new segment. We get we're coming up with different segments. Mm-hmm. We we the show building. You know what I'm saying? We 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 Rome wasn't built in a day. No, it wasn't. Right? And and we and we I know the background, it's it's bricks, and they keep talking about the background. Okay. What's wrong with I, the- I mean, brick I, by brick. We building brick by brick. Shout we out, building. You know I mean, I know it. You know, they like, Lou, when you gonna get a new background? When you gonna when you gonna fix your water heater? Like when you gonna pay your bills? It's man? hot out. So that's the summertime. Yeah. When you when what? you gonna put that fan to the side and go yeah. get that AC? Fan? Stop opening up every door and just fix your AC unit. You know Stop I mean? running that cold shower with the fan in the bathroom with all the lights off because you can't have no lights and all the blinds is. Come on, man. Stop you a talking. vampire? Let's stop that. Yeah. So, moment of clarity, right? Where I guess when you was like, where where you was just like, okay, I got to do something. Like, cause you could it could have been like you was down and out, mm-hmm. or like what what clicked for you and and was just like, I got to make a change. It was 2015. This is like right after I like got done with uh Chirac. Mm. Luckily, um, that's Spike Lee. Joint. Spike Lee. Luckily, hey, was Nick Cannon in that movie? Yes, he was in it. He was a, he was a main character, shout right? To, shout out to Nick shout Cannon, out to Nick. shout because he he was one of the ones that like showed me around and let me like understand what everything, how everything operates. Okay, on the side of Spike Lee, so I had one small role mm. in uh, Chirac. Okay, and um, after that, Spike Lee allowed me to be a stand-in of uh, Nick Cannon so I can wow. be with him for the whole summer. And wow. Nick Cannon, he was letting me come in his trailer and everything just like, because I ain't have, we was out of our car. He was like, no, nah, man, come in the trailer. Like, I want to, he's showing me how everything operates. Damn. Showing me how he break down his lines and everything. I was just like, but I didn't even really, I wasn't taking it like, I'm just like, damn, I'm learning. So I'm just like, I'm not realizing, nigga, this is Nick Cannon, this is a legend. Right. Telling you how he break, like, he probably didn't have that moment where somebody helped him out like that. Right, 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 right. Then I got a chance to stand in for uh, Wesley Snipes. So, like, the Wesley, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Yes, and you talking about Nino Brown? Eh? Nino Brown, bro. Yeah, I forgot about that. Man, so how he was just like breaking everything down and just like super high spirited and then just was like, what movie is this? This was oh. Chirac. Oh, he was damn I'm tripping. Yes, it was some legends in there, bro. I got to meet Samuel L. Jackson, bro. Yeah, Sam gonna Sam gonna pull up a spike, no matter what. And how he was just like, he dapped me up and just like, hey, what's up, Cortez, man? You know, just very like high spirited through Spike. He, man. And I remember sitting with Spike, bro. And Spike was like, man, I can, I can do this for you. I can really change your life, but you're not ready yet. Mm. You see, Mar, he got the name and all the people he, you know, he was in Mar, you see Denzel. He was yeah. like, you can be that. You have to, you have to see that. You have to bring that out of you. I can't do that for you. Mm. So we was done. I was just walking down the neighborhood, um, going to this place called Happy Fish and Chicken, right there on uh, Monroe and Cicero. And right before I, I, I uh, when I got in there, I was you know, order some food, and this dude was getting shot at, and he ran in there, and he, and he basically shield himself like over all the kids that was in there Damn. and all of us and um dude didn't shoot he could have shot he ran in there he was off adrenaline he was just aiming he said fuck it and he ran off and when i walked out 
I was just like, I gotta do, I gotta do more, bro. Like yeah. I gotta get away from this shit. So December of 2015, um, you know, I talked to my, I talked to my grandmother, and then she was, uh, she was real like supportive of what I did. She had some mm-hmm. money put up to the side for college. I ended up dropping out of college, and she gave me the rest of that money that she was gonna give me for college, and that helped me move to uh, L.A. Man. And that's when I was just like, this is it. I, I have to, for her. That's yeah. for my grandma, for seeing it and, and, and invested in me and wanting me to, you know, to yeah. flourish in this industry. Bro, that's, she, uh, <laughs> that shit. Bro, it's giving me chills just talking about it because it's like, she wanted more. She did not <clears throat> want the streets to take me away because mm-hmm. she seen that that was the direction. Like, it was just, bro, it was, ine- it was inedible. In, inedible. <laughs> Damn. Was it in, inevitable. inevitable, my bad. Inevitable. Inevitable. I'm sorry. We, hey, bro, we 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 gonna to we ain't hooked on farms, but we are gonna figure it out. No, I was there. My 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 bad. I was thinking while I was talking. Inevitable. I got it. So don't what, try to. What you got? You gonna walk? Huh? Oh, huh? Did you guys see that one? You gonna see that camera? So go ahead. Yeah, it was it was it was like I couldn't run from that. Like, yeah, this is what I'm I'm from. So it was it was gonna be a, a matter of a day that it was gonna like choose me, because mm-hmm. even to rewind it back into uh, like 2010 when my uncle got killed, mm. it was also a bounty on my head too, that they were trying to take me out because how close I was with my uncle. And like, how old were you at that time? I was 16 at that time. So we going from a, a 16, the 16 to 21, that I experienced so much. Like even a time when. We used to hang out at the park, and the guys they end up robbing a dice game. They had a, they used to have a real big dice game. All the people from around the neighborhood they'd come, mm-hmm. and uh, the people from where I was from they robbed the dice game and made it seem like everybody got robbed, but they split that. Somebody, a female, they pillow talk and they told the female. The female went back to the dudes that that took a loss, and they came back shooting. Uh-huh. They didn't care. Like, and I I remember standing right there. We just had. Took a bike from we used to take bikes from the the suburbs and shit and there ain't nothing wrong with that and and allegedly oh well, no it's cool we used, oh, we nah, good now no nah, it was twenty some years ago yeah bro if you man listen you I tell you it's, true story okay so my dad used to get us in the in the in these nice camps mm-hmm. basketball football camp me and my shout out to my brother he died with gun violence okay. right <clears throat> and the counselors they tell you this. They be they they still be talking about how bad me and my brother was at, at all the camps. <clears throat> my dad never sent us with lunch. Right. Now now we you know, my dad worked good. We 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 ate good. Mm-hmm. But when it came to breakfast and packing lunch, it, it was just he wanted to make sure we was groomed, mm-hmm. we smelled good, mm-hmm. it, brush like I had my, my hair like got my waves going. My brother had curly hair, he he get his stuff going mm-hmm. and we smelling good and we're gonna pull up. Right, hungry as hell. But he would give us a couple dollars <laughs> of cash. Right, we got tired of eating that piece of that Papa John piece of shit. And the white kids, they had their lunch bags. Bro, they had so much just. Yeah, I was hitting them lunch bags, snacks. You get fruit roll ups, gushers. You getting everything. Juice little, box, little Capri Sun, little Timmy. T- Where are, my mom didn't pack my she didn't pack my fruit roll up today. What <laughs> the fuck? Where's my Timmy and Jay? You. Um, Straight. I ain't seen. You good? I'm helping them look for it. Over, shit. Whoever touched this. Sh- oh, oh, whoever, whoever. I'm helping them. I'm. Uh, you fruit good, roll up bro? in the back pocket. Man, fruit roll up right here. <laughs> oh, that nigga crazy, bro. They ain't do you like that. Not here. We ain't doing that. Whoever I catch stealing. Bro, you gotta see real, me. No, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta see about me. So like I say, man. Still on the bike, hey man, that's reparations. Man, so look, so we 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 fixing the bike up, you know, scraping the paint off, changing the uh, the wheels and all that. I see a dude, he got on all black. I'm thinking that's how we used to play. Uh-huh. That's how we play. Like in the hood, we catch that like yo bitch ass, you lacking. That's how we. That's how so we. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll run up on each other. <laughs> yeah, you call we. Yeah, you like you, we no, we ain't lacking, bitch. Ass. Like that's how, that's how we embrace each other, call each other bitch ass niggas. Like yo, yo, bitch ass, like Chicago, yeah, you like that's how Chicago, we yeah in the hood yeah yo, bitch ass nigga. yeah <laughs> you like it yeah, ass, yeah. Nigga. so look I'm thinking it's one of them yo, bitch ass nigga right so I'm looking I'm like 
nigga, I see you. Like, we ain't lacking. He, boom, 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 we get to shooting. So we take off, bro. My boy right now, still, like, he's still thanking me right now today. He gets shell shocked. He's, he's like this. I see the bullet going through his hand, both his hands. Ran back. I snatched him up. We running. He crying, screaming. Dude shooting everywhere. You just ping, ping, ping. You just see, like, bullets hitting gates and walls and shit, busting windows. We get back to the park. You know, Emmerland's coming and everything. And this nigga, like, right now today, bro, he still asks me. I mean, he still tell me and thank me right now today. Like, you saved my life. That's the shit I had to go through. So it's just like, it became a norm. So when we go back to 21, that incident, when I was at Happy Fitch Chicken, uh -huh. I just knew. I'm like, bro, I need to get out of this shit. I got to because it's going to take me away, bro. And then even going out there in L.A. and trying to pursue my dreams to have my little brother taken away. In 2016, at gun violence, we playing a fucking basketball game. Bro. Mm. Basketball game went left. He slapped the young nigga. Young nigga go get somebody. They don't come talking. They come shooting. And that's, and that's, you know? That's so just sad. to yeah. go through that and see my little brother take his last breath on, on the FaceTime because this girl called me and was just like, Yo, brother on the ground, he just got shot. I'm like, bro, take him the phone. Why ain't nobody talking to him? Everybody just like, shell shot. Like, mm. like, damn, recording and just like, ain't nobody talking to him. And I feel like that's how he bled out and died because mm. he like, they basically, shit, then they didn't pull the plug on him already. Why? He, he probably looking around. Niggas like, damn, he dead, y'all. He wasn't even, you know? And to go through that and to lose my, you know, my cousin, right? Bro, my cousin was with me. At the funeral of my little brother, uh, at his at his funeral, he was right next to me, and we 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 wrote a note, you know, telling him, basically, you know, miss you and all that shit, and for him to be taken away, right after that, and for him to be, on his way, like I came from uh, L. A. for Mother's Day, I took my my peoples out and all that, I'm on the block, and I uh, he called me, and I at the time I think I was mad at him because I told him to come, I was telling them niggas to come too. Mm -hmm. LA, like, bro, like, get away from that shit, man. Yeah. My brother, man, I'm on probation and all that. I say, bro, like, they ain't like, bro, come out here, please, bro. Nigga, I had a studio. I said, I will lay on the floor, nigga. Yeah. You lay on my bed, bro. I want you to get away from that to see it because LA is like, it's amazing. It's a new world. Uh -huh. Bro, this man called me, my cousin, like, come, yo, bitch, what you want to fight or something? Like, yeah, I want to fight. He, yeah, so what you mean? Fuck with me or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm finna pull up. Bro, I'm waiting on the block for him to. To pull uh pull up and, and pick me up or whatnot. Luckily, my baby mama, this folk, she had my child. Uh -huh. She pulls up drunk. So it's me, my my little sister, people on the block. She pulls up drunk and I took care of her that moment because she was getting ready to damn near probably get an accident or something. Yeah. I ended up getting a hotel room. And um he never came. He never came to pick me up. So now we in a hotel room. Lights flickering and shit. I'm like, both our phones going off. I answer my, my sister, my mom. Oh, thank God we thought you was dead. What, what you mean? Yeah, Breon just got killed, huh? That's your cousin. That's my cousin. So I'm like, what you mean? They, yeah, he was in the car accident. So I'm like, what? He was on his way to me, but he never called. So I was like, yeah, because everybody said that he was on his way to you. So we thought you was in there dead because we couldn't, you weren't answering the phone. So I get on Facebook and this this nigga called check on your peoples or something. His goofy ass, he come to the car. Them niggas taking their last breath, gasping for air, crying, screaming. This nigga talking about, hey y'all, check on y'all people. We right here on Cicero and in, 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 in Madison. Check on y'all people, motherfucker. Just shot the car. Record, recording recording it live. I'm seeing his best <sighs> friend on the side of him gasping for air. This nigga got shot up all in the side of his body. He was in a Camaro, bro. So I was, if I would have was in that Camaro, I would have been in the back. So that all that shit would have. So nigga, I'm just like, bro, I, I gotta do, I gotta do more mm. for myself, bro. And then luckily, you know, I, man, my my mind, luckily I didn't crash out because I was in LA, like going through all of this shit, going through uh, by PTSD by myself. I got friends, but they don't understand. Nah, bro, you by yourself. Hey man, fuck that shit, man. You nah, get don't. to this money. They don't nah, they understand. understand. I got females that I'm around. Why you talk to your family so much? I never seen a man talk to his mama so much. Or, bro, my mama had the my mama had me at 18, with nobody. I went. I grew up with her. You the man of the house. What do you mean why I don't talk to my mom? Yeah. So I was going through it, bro. I remember being at the, at the red light, nigga, and then a car just pulled up fast. It wasn't even, he wasn't even on nothing. He just pulled up fast. 
They got get out the car running and shit. Going like because I got like I'm going through that and then I, yeah. I come back and then I ended up the the woman at the time, my, my baby mama, that I ended up having a child with her and like when I when I seen it was a girl, it was just like, man, that was a reset in life. And I just put her as the focal point of just like, I gotta do it for her, bro. I got to. So came back to Chicago 2018. Found the job. I was on my family man shit, but I wasn't full. I wasn't that didn't feel like that more. was for me. You wanted more. I, like family man, nothing wrong with that, but no, I knew no, you wanted more, but I already know. Bro, sitting that life to the side wasn't for me. So I yeah. just I applied for, you know, uh um went on it, went on it, went on Google and looked up the top agencies in Chicago and just got sending my my shit out, my headshots and all my resume and all that. Luckily, it's a um you know, so I got end up signing with Lori Lynn. That's shout out to them. All and right. Well. 2019, I had that that um that audition for Nuck, bro, and I I knew it was for me. Like I felt it. Like if I never been so assured of any audition I did, but that because yeah. I put all of that shit that I was going through, I put that pain in that audition. Nigga, I even pulled up. It was on the script. It was saying he 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 opened the door with with a box of cereal with his gun and his. I had a fake gun. Yeah. Like the gun case for the iPhone, oh, and I and I had a box of cereal. It was like lose that, we love it, lose it, but we want to see you. I killed that shit, bro. And then they end up calling me like, and it's funny now because my boy shout out to Evan. It was me and him that got that call back, and I ended up I ended up getting the nug roll. He ended up getting some with Chicago PD, and it changed my life. And we laugh about that. We just laughed about that last night, like nigga, like, do you know like we was the same? Yeah. And you got that call, and he was just like, "Man, I love it because I can see it now." That was, bro, that was written for you. Hey, man, cut. come man. on, man. Hey, man, that's that's talking about, uh, bro. That's uh, that's a walking testament, testimony, bro. Yes, bro. That that ain't that shit. See, to me, mentally, like you deal with pain, right? Mm-hmm. And to learn how, and to and to know how to deal with that pain, internalize like d- mm-hmm. deal with it. We all got different ways how like nobody knows how it's gonna affect. But for you to use it and and, and say, "Hey, I gotta change some shit up." Man. I don't, I don't, I ain't trying to. I don't want. I ain't this. trying to die. Right, and and we gotta be there for our babies, bro. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. Like that's my main thing is, I would say like having my daughter, bro. 2016, that was like, it was like I had her, my brother died. My brother got killed. Man. Right? Boom, boom. Then, my grandfather, I, I take care of him that whole year. He died. So within like two years, life is just happening. The league is, I'm I'm getting hurt in the league. I'm rehabbing. I'm dealing with pain. I'm dealing with losses. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's Sometimes you gotta learn how to lose in order to win. Bro, and that's what's it's, it's so crazy. And it's like, even with my grandmother being gone, she passed away in uh twenty twenty through uh from COVID. Uh, my bro. Yeah, so it's, yeah, and it's just it's like it's damn near like a survivor remorse type of uh, yeah. situation because every time that's even with like when the world found out about the um me killing, you know, Duda and Rob, mm-hmm. man, I I remember when she was there when you know mm-hmm. when we did our, when we had our first yeah on on season three when we had our premiere party in the basement of her house yeah 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 and she yeah, was just yeah. sitting there like she didn't want to be around too many people because of COVID she right. was like strict on that but her just doing that like I told you then I tell you if you you stay focused and get everything one hundred and ten percent not one hundred hundred and ten percent yeah you need an extra ten and extra then, and see the good thing is she she can rest in peace you know why because she got to see, she got to see her baby. She got to see all that. Yes. What she put into you, mm-hmm. come to fruition. Now she can, she can go. Man, she working, bro. You know what I'm saying? She working. And man. now she working overtime now. Man. When they, that, she bro. was like that in real life. Like she right. called, she was the baby mm-hmm. of her brothers and sisters, but she calls the shot. Like she, <clears throat> what? Bro. She the head of everything. So I know yeah. she up there like. Man, she, bro. My, my grandbaby. Yeah. And that's like, how it was. Like, cause when I first, when they first told me, 
that I was, you know, it was going to be me to take him out. First, I heard that he was dying. Yeah. And I was just like, damn, y'all doing that this season? Mm -hmm. And they came back and it was just like, yeah, bro. It's you. It's time. Hey. Hey. But I didn't get nervous. Not, it was what? just like time. You know yeah, it was like that. I'm like, yes, y'all y'all figuring it out. Yes. I'm see, ready. But see, it ain't no need to get nervous. I mean, it's hard to get nervous when you when you done you done seen pain at its, yes. its highest. And I begged for this. I cried. It was nice. You know what I'm saying? Bro. It's it's a reason for everything. You know what I mean? If people want to know what's the reason why certain things happen. Sometimes, hey, tragedy can 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 it make make discipline mm -hmm. and create the greatest picture ever seen. Yes, you know what I mean. Yes, Tra all tragedy ain't ain't, ain't ain't bad. It's not at the end of at the end of the road. Shit gonna get good if you if you hold on a little bit. You can't let it take over. So. Like I said, we talking about reasons. We got a segment called "What's the Reason?" All right. <sighs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's no. You're gonna be good. Okay. No, you're gonna be straight. I got you, bro. Cause, what's the reason nobody can step like Chicago? Not, not cause, cause Chicago be stepping. Oh, for sure. Like we, we, we the the home of the players, bro. We just so it's a vibe. Now, now, it. now, before you, cause you know Detroit players. No, you, they're my cousins. They're your cousins, okay? Cause it's Midwest, right? Midwest. Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, okay. and they always had the player balls like okay. this. Either they take it from up, and you know, they they take it from the Detroit player ball to okay. Chicago. But always been players. And what's so crazy? Uh -huh. Growing up, seeing that, like uh, Don Juan, he used to come to the park where we grew up at, and he used to give us dollars and shit. Just imagine Don Juan, bro. And he had his homie with him called Chutch. Yeah. Chutch. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Chutch. Man, keep your pimp hands strong, Chutch. player. Yeah. And man, he used to speak life into us too. Don't be like him. Be better than him. Give us money. Yeah. That shit crazy, bro. Them pimps, them pimps be 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 talking to me. Like, like Revens. Yeah, no. Nah, pimps are street pastors. Revens. Yes. Yeah, real yes. talk. Pimps, pimp, a pimp is not no uh a derogatory term at all the time. No. no. Well, uh, that's how you get them to, to you know, to go yeah. there, to do what they want to do because they so swift with the word to make you think. I mean, y'all be like that because you got, I mean, I know we can't talk about them, but, you know, we, <laughs> you know, yeah. we, we, right. We, mm -hmm. I don't care what you say, niggas still stepping in the name of love. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, they still doing it? I haven't heard it. I don't you think, think so. No, I don't think you so. think so, okay. And you know I'm You in Chicago. Right. You from like I just was at a family reunion on the June 29th. They ain't baby. play it. Not at all. Okay. Uh uh. We heard that dun 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 dun. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. We heard that. Yeah, we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that. You gonna hear that? Yeah. So they ain't playing. With... Hey, they sticking with it. If Chicago ain't riding, you know it's serious. You know it's serious. And y'all, we ain't got. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I was. I said, you know, I know you killed Robert off the show. Shout out to Iman Shumpert. Shout out, that's uh, my boy. My uh, went to tech together. My dog. <clears throat> I thought you killed the wrong Robert. You know, if you want to be, <laughs> you know, and we well, just leave it at that. Right, we leave it. At that. I thought I was like, I, I, I appreciate you. You got Robert, but I think it was the wrong Robert. So, <laughs> hey, hell no, I ain't gonna say too much, <laughs> but they know. Um. Oh man, what's the reason black entertainment doesn't get the credit it deserves? On all. Acting, singing, man, dance, whatever. Um, <clears throat> man, because how the system was created, I feel like, um, that's even back when 
you know, slavery times, we mm. talk about that you had always was given little, but we made something out of nothing. Like, just, just think about, they threw us slop, they threw us chitlins, and mm -hmm. now you got people like, man, maybe if you clean the shit out and you put a little season on it, it might be something. Pig feet, pig to period, like they just throw it to us, and we made something out of nothing. So just think about all the inventions. We didn't have light, and you had a man create the light. We didn't mm -hmm. have structure with the how you use the grid, the map. Mm -hmm. Black man came up with that, but yeah. by us not having the knowledge, you get someone with the knowledge, they come and be like, oh, I see what you got going on right there. Take it and glorify it. So you think? Nephew sleep. Nephew. Hey, dude. <laughs> he said, I'm up, nigga woke. Man. <laughs> Sneak over here snoring, man. He said, "Nigga, well, nigga heard you, you talking about uh man, but slavery, but right? but look, yeah. that's how you be in history class, <laughs> but, slavery, yeah." Uh, shout out. Nah, to basically what you said was um, just a structure. Yeah, bro. George Washington Carver. Yeah, I already know how you be in class, but to 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 what you're saying, I feel like a lot of times maybe I. Ideas and talent get a little stolen. It does. You gotta look at, and a lot of people might hate this, but you gotta look at Elvis. Mm. He stole a lot from I. Hey, he stole a lot. Word from, from word. Mm -hmm. Style. Everything. That's they, all they, he was listening to was us. Right. He was hanging around us. Yes. Yes. Took that sauce. Mm -hmm. yes. Brought it back, and now he's a legend. How? He wasn't original. This was being this was being done tens, twenties of years and that's before what, him. And they be wondering why a lot of our OGs was be like, man, we we was doing that shit back. And they, they, they don't really give credit to the folks that's doing this, that, and the third or taking it and flipping right. it. Cause it's basically y'all just had a little more money to exactly. flip it. You had the knowledge. Yeah. You had the book smarts to it, and you had the connections. See, the thing is, like, with blacks, we, we didn't have the connections. And once we, once they did the segregation, I, I would say, and a lot of people probably are frowned upon this, but I would say around that time when segregation was going, I would say that that was the best for blacks. Mm. Because we, we kept it in-house, and we did everything for us, by us. Mm. Boo -boo. No, no pun intended, but, but we did a lot of things for us. We, like, and then they seen that, how we was, like, flourishing, they was just like, nah, let's... Hey, bro. Just imagine, like, if we had our own resources of our own banks, own schools, own hospitals. Uh, now. We'd be taught differently. Uh, now, how, though? Because, you know, sometimes black on, you know, black. Now, it's. You know. Niggas it's 50-50 now. They be stealing. But just think. <laughs> but if, just, if a bunch of niggas had a bank, it'd but, be real. But, no, but just, just think. If we had that resource back then, if we had, just imagine if, if. Our great 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 grandfather was Rockefeller. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Just think about that. If we had that. Okay. Okay. Just imagine uh, if we didn't go okay. through slavery. Okay. And 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 I see what you're talking about. Legacy. Right. Lineage. 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 Yeah. So like I was just it just um casino. Um and when they having that back and forth moment with Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. right? And Two legends. Legends. This is one of my favorite movies. You know how they say, like, you can watch a movie a hundred times and you're going to find something new every time? Goodfellas with me. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another one. He said, what do you think you're, uh, he said, he said, what, you're, wearing, you're smoking a cigarette with, with, a, with a, a, a pen on it? What are you, some, uh, Barry, Drew, at Barrymore? John Barrymore, I think. John Barrymore is like the fucking, Great, great, great granddaddy of Drew Barrymore. Drew yeah. Barrymore got granddaddy like her her family tree yeah. in the acting industry. It's crazy. Goes back to like the I think it's like the nineteen hundreds or something. Eighteen hundred. So to your point, it's like for that's why it's that name holds mm -hmm. so much or yes. certain names with different colors. Yes. Because they were given opportunities way back. Right. We still trying to establish certain legacies. And, I, so. and, and find identity within ourselves. And then you got to mm -hmm. think about 
how the 80s was, how they broke up the household and how we was, you know, like in a household struggling with, uh, you got a lot of people that grew up in a, in a household with just a mother. Mm -hmm. They are systematically keeping us enslaved because they know that like two is better than one. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that. You got to think about Jewish people. They can, they can look and look into probably a book to see how a picture of their great, great, great grandfather looked mm -hmm. because they got that, that legacy. Yeah. We don't. I can't tell you how my great, great, great grandfather or my grandmother looked. Mm -hmm. I don't even know their name or even have a record on them. So that's where it started. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's we why, didn't, we got why, broken up. That's why I ain't mad at what LeBron and Bronny doing. No, I love that. Like, and people should be really, man, they should be applauding that man because Stop hating. this man come from the slums of Ohio. Cleveland. What is going on in Cleveland? This is for you. This real talk. Like, bruh, that's, you can't get upset at that. No. I don't care what race you are. You know why? Because finally, we are starting to be able to make it easier for our generations to come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As it should be. Because we working hard so we can pass it down. And don't knock to anybody else. But if you're giving your, your whole life, like, because I think they about to push the retirement to probably like 10 years. I think it's like 65. I think they're trying to push it to like 75. We ain't getting into politics or nothing. But just think about you work the job. You went Seriously? to Okay. That's what I think. That's what I heard. Damn. So look, you work. Okay. You, you go to school. You go to school for 12 years. You mm -hmm. go to college. And then you go to college. And then if you just say if you're a doctor, you go probably four to six more years than that. And you work your butt off all the way into 65 years of age. Once you quit, you can't pass that down to Lil Rodney or... Yeah, you can't bring them on the Tasha. construction job. You can't. Yeah. They ain't it, gonna, it, no, it don't work right. like that. You're right. So let's start challenging... No, challenging... Uh, damn, I'm, I'm having a... No, 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 go. Fucking tongue tied. No, channeling. Right. Our what did you say? Channel? Channeling. Channeling. Channeling yeah, our we're energy. Channeling, eh? we're channeling. Right, to yeah. our energy into something that's more positive and something that we love to do that we can pass down because we all have art and talent like this podcast you got right now yeah you can pass it down to your your baby girl yeah if you wanted to because this is you this is the Lou show this is your shit and she and, but, and she on that social media right she on that tiktok she told me she say uh because we got a, well, i had a hundred i had the, with a hundred thousand followers for on um, subscribers on youtube mm -hmm. so i had that for, for a little minute i remember when i got it so she's seven now. I think I got it at like, she might have been just turning six. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Daddy, oh, you got your play button. Mm. And I wasn't even tripping about it. It was still in the box. So you got hanging up. I was like, okay. So now it's hung up at the crib, right? <clears throat> just la last week she looked at it and she say, Daddy, can't wait till you get your gold one. Mm -hmm. Your gold button. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like you say, our legacy, they watching. Yes, and they and and they and 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 we gotta keep putting out the positive stuff for them to watch, so that they can keep the legacy going. For sure, that's why I started bringing my daughter with me on set because she didn't want to watch, and I wouldn't let her watch what I do. But right, she was afraid of my my character, so I had to Damn. bring her on set to let her know, like it's all love. Right, right, right. This right, is who right, I right, am right, when right, they right. when they call action. This mm -hmm. is who I am. You know, what I mean, she see how the tattoos get. Yeah. It's a character. It's a character daddy playing. Right. That's not me. She's yeah. Like, can you play a can you play a daddy or can you play uh -huh. something more nice? Because I don't you too mean. But when she sat with the directors and all that, and she seen how then she gonna come, we call her uh Leah the director. So she have a okay. little director chair. Oh, that's through. hard. So she come and she'd be like, You see me be playing around that door? <laughs> 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 you need to peek out. But yeah, she, yeah, she yeah, getting yeah. into it. I'm like, I love this for her because she can really see how the, the art is being made. That's but you dope. bringing her around. Yes. You bringing her around. She, bro, at a young age like that, mm -hmm. something going to stick. Yes. The right thing. The it, right thing. You know thing. what I mean? Like, right. so that's, even now she, that, bro. You know, I told her when I was coming out here, I was like, you know, because uh, I have it for the summer or whatnot. Me too. Oh, I'm like, so, okay. Yeah. My man. Yeah. Yeah, so same, I'm like, same, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm, I'm coming to a, uh, Atlanta to do some work. All right, hurry up. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. On time too. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm I'm worried right now. But the good thing my my uh my sister she once I, once my daughter seen that bathing suit she was like okay go ahead go ahead bro bathing suit 
is like my key out the door. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is the reason? We're gonna win shot town, man. Mm-hmm. What's the reason Michael Jordan would never be surpassed? His work ethic is crazy. That's that's not even talking about the awards and all that. Let's talk mm-hmm. about how he came in and just like wasn't afraid of the giants, of mm. the magics and the Larry Birds. He came at them and he wanted to be better than them. He always perfected himself from his rookie year onto his to that ninety eight that ninety eight run mm-hmm. when he retired. His work ethic was crazy. He always wanted to be the best. And he pushed his guys to do that. And the city kind of like took that and mentality, used mentality yeah. and, and was running with it. Yeah. And everybody implemented their life on Michael Jordan and his success. That's why we, right now today, keep a pair of mics on because it represents success in style. And he did greatness in them shoes. Yeah. So it's like one to 14. On, you put on a pair of mics, put on a pair of Air Jordans, and you might do some good. You ever had some mics on and you walked past a nigga that they couldn't get it and they just gave you that nod? Oh. Oh. Hey man, shout out to my dad, bro. So, like my like I say, my dad and my mom, they they were in two separate households. Mm-hmm. But it didn't really matter. You know what I mean? Cause my dad would just pull he bro, he would just pull up like most randomest times or whatever, like just random. He pull up. It's it's one get me out of school early, go get a cut. Lots of days. He lays you. Come on, come on put them on. You know what I mean? Like me and my brother, like, bro. So, to your to and your that, point, that haircut the next day with the mic as school is. Hey, man. Hey, look. You. Him. I want to be telling people I was Hemothy before him. Before they even knew it, him bro, and Before you knew who him was, <laughs> I was him. Pops, bro. I'm talking about fresh cut, Jays. Walk back into school. Oh, this like this like third grade, fourth grade. Killing them. I'm. What's the Jays that came in the um, in the briefcase? Oh, you talking about the seventeens? You had the seventeens. It was the AAU tournament, Central High School. You did that. I'm from D, I'm from DC, Central High School, PG. They know what I'm talking about. Pop, pop. This is my pop started getting money, money. I knew we was getting some money. He had it. Yeah, he, he pulled up with a white Escalade. Picked me and my brother up from school. Mm. He took us to school in an infinity. And he picked you up in the escalator. Shit. Right? Trading it. I guess, you know, I could tell, mm. okay, we was changing. Mm. Went from the town, we went from the little apartment, town. Oh, we about to move here? Okay, cool. Right? Hey, say less, bro. Hey, bro. Took us to the game. Took us to the game. And I'm... I'm three years old. I'm three years older than my brother, but he mm. used to dress us up as twins. My grandma did that a lot with my uncle, me and my uncle. Yeah. He hated that. He was five <laughs> years older than me. So I'm hated. like, one, everybody can tell we ain't got the same mama. Right. My brother got the curly hair, light bright. But anyways, bro, he would take it, take take me to the game. I pulled up, I had to, I was like, damn, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just um, I was like, damn, I'm just take him uh more which wear him in. He said, No, 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 no. Take the briefcase in. So he a player. He know. He said, take the briefcase in. Drop. Man, I walk in. Me and my brother walk in. He parking. My brother got his own, but I got my briefcase. <sighs> Y'all ain't doing like that. But we pulled up like Fre- like, like, like Will Smith and Carlton in the courtroom in Fresh Prince. I, so how was your game, though? You killed him that day? Hey, dude. And at this point, I was coming off the bench. This is, I was playing up. I was playing uh, it was a year ahead of me. Like, this might have been like ten and under, so eleven and under. I'm, I'm, I just turned ten, but I'm playing mm-hmm. eleven. <clears throat> Come on, Ben! I hit three threes off straight, corner threes. Oh, I had a jumper, straight up. Back in the day, that was that was rare because you know they weren't shooting a lot. They was real flashy. They wanted slash. It was a lot of slashing going on. Coach called box three two times in a row. Set the screen, boom! I come to the corner, fire. And them Jays, matter of fact, when it would get, when when stuff would happen, my boy would step in my shoe. I'm cleaning them off at the, at the timeouts. For sure. 
They gotta look good. You know what I mean? San Antonio. Like, yeah. ju- like, it, like, and I know, like, Le- we just talked about LeBron. Like, you know, he done passed Mike up, or, or Kobe passed him up with the with the, uh, the points. And yeah, LeBron was it forty? Is it forty thousand? Yeah, yeah, forty. Forty thousand yeah. points, ten thousand rebounds, ten thousand. Yeah, he, he passed. He passed uh, Kareem. So, yeah. Le- Le- LeBron is is on Mount Rushmore. And, and yeah. he a hundred percent. Even if they don't like it, he he's on Mount Rushmore. If he's not, if some some people can. If he he they can argue the case. If he's not one, he's two. It's, it would be no one like that, that that man MJ. It wouldn't be no one like him or LeBron or Kobe. Them the, me my, me personally, my I go. I go Mike. I go Kobe. Mm-hmm. I go Bron. I know, like, I was born in 91. So, like, what the hell I look like putting Bill Russell in my Mount Rushmore? No. Or Kareem in my Mount Rushmore. I didn't, I didn't, or even Magic. I'm I'm not. So, for me, my four, it just always, it's going to be out of knowledge. I swear to God I was about to say that. It's it's MJ. Yeah. Kobe for sure, because Uh I'm going to give it to LeBron off respect. Yeah. Not a big LeBron fan, but out of respect. Okay. And AI, bro. When I met that, when I met him, I met that man. AI. I, yes. At at a this, uh, they had like a um, he had like a strand of weed with yeah. um Al Harrington. Yes. So uh, I was. Yeah. So I went there. Uh huh. And he was like, "Hold on, what? That's do the man. No, bro. I'm like, you talking about that's a bro. Get no move. Bring him back here. Hey, bro. I'm like, nigga, heart like. Bro, he hug it, bro. When when AI hug it, I met him at a uh, back man. When, I, when slap it, bro, and That's he and man. he all bone. Yeah. So you know them like, boom, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> bro, at the uh, Ryan Garcia tank fight. I, I met there. him. DC, my dad seen you when you got that Kennedy. Right. Yeah. Well, how you, man, how, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah. know how, how you do that. Lou, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, man. Well, let, let, let's do it. Look, right. baby, my pretty baby, man. Oh, there you go. Hey, you love him all day, every day. Though. Oh, yeah, hook me yeah, up. You Because I love it. I do it. We're going to come to a scene. And I just holler out here. Man, listen, man. And then you keep talking that every time I see you. No, I'm serious. Come on, man. Because, goddamn it. Yeah, I know what time it is. But we talk all that shit, all that fly shit. Damn. All right, so I, I know that. Just, we talk all that cool shit like we fuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we do it for real, man. We ain't no fake you, you dude. Got my I did. Oh, I just did. Okay, okay. You got it, baby. I bet five. I bet five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we brother. done, I'm gonna play this video. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna yeah. yeah. say it's you, <laughs> bro. That was probably that. That's definitely up there. One of the top moments of my life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't get starstruck yeah. by a lot of people. They was in there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And I didn't even know that I was gonna get starstruck with when I seen Gucci Man. When he walked Ooh. past, I said, Gucci what? Gucci. Gucci was in there. I said, I tapped my cousin, nigga, that's Gucci Man. Oh, Gucci was in there. Icy. I'm like, this nigga. Gucci, Gucci. It was almost like, I think Gucci was sitting in somebody's seat. He didn't know it. Dude tapped Gucci. Gucci just looked up at him. He found another seat. Gucci stayed in that seat. Yeah, that man found another seat. You know Smart what I mean? It's just do. we ain't gonna. We don't want. We had a fight. We I actually seen a fight there. They got his chain beat off him. Uh, <laughs> bro, man, bro, I just bro, why is it that every? <laughs> what's the reason that at every fight, y'all niggas in the stands want to fight? What's that reason for? It, it's it's that it's that adrenaline. Like niggas want to. They feel like they. They feel like they got it. Cause that's what Pac, pa, 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 R.P. That's what Pac walked out that Mike Tyson fight just just shadow boxing and shit. Like what we just uh, Caleb, no, was it Caleb playing Ryan Garcia? So who fight? Oh, Tank uh, versus Frank Martin. Man, they fighting. Soon as soon as they hold uh Tank hand up, boom. What the fuck? We, like that's crazy. Hey man, shout out to Tank too, man. He he really doing it at a high level, bro, and and really talking this shit and really walking this walk. Nobody really been doing that lately. So what's the reason? What's the reason Tank ain't gonna lose? 
because he's a fucking student of the the game and he don't he really bro this man tank can't lose he can't i like prime example when he fought frank yeah the nigga walked him down and was like was smiling and taking the punches you don't really get that he and then he flanked and he frank like oh shit that boy got you i'm hit you with two what they say Boy, if you flinch, I'm going to hit you with two. Listen, there you go. That boy kept flinching. Preferably, brother, no. Bro, what'd he say? Get him by the eighth round. He was losing all the way up. You know I called the, it. You know I called that. You did? We was at the uh, we was at the press conference because I was at then the- You did, though. I see that shit was funny as hell. Not real you shit. Ain't, you didn't catch that when he flinched at him. You didn't catch it because you was talking. But when you went back and you realized, like, oh, shit. I caught it. Listen, bro. Um, the press conference before I'm talking about the press conference in May, single mm. the mile weekend. Yeah, we was at the uh, Canelo fight, mm. so we had to recover that. Right, shout out to the Watsons, right, PBC and all that. We covering the fight. Um, I I could like Tank was just uh, I bro he he looked like he was ready to fight then. It was May, mm. you know what I mean? Like he just it was just in he shape. Was in shape. I'm talking about tip top shape, bro. And I was just like, oh, Tank just look different. You know what I mean? Like he just, you know what I mean? He's just vibing. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm in the middle of them arguing and shit. Tank done walked over there, done climbed the goddamn uh the st- the, he done hopped over the gate and everything. I'm right there. They saying, like, what, what uh, what round? He said, Oh, probably eight. I said, Oh, so we're knocking by an eight, we can't be late. Damn. Listen. I tell you, at the MGM Grand, at the fight, the whole, am I lying? The whole week. Lou, what you say? Not in my name, we can't be late. Damn. I'm, I'm talking that shit. Damn. That, I ain't gonna lie, that was the only fight that he had recently that I was actually a little worried. I didn't know. Really? Yeah. Be, I ain't gonna lie. Because we ain't, we not gonna sit here and think that Haney was gonna lose to Ryan like that. What? We didn't think that. You called that? What? Shaq, what did I tell he you? He tricked us with this little, Shaq. I don't know, what the fuck going on? He a little slow. No, 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 no. He now, off. now I, I ain't going to lie. He 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 done crashed out with me. I, I ain't fucking with him no more. But yeah, that last that, shit he said, yeah. I, I can't see through that. But we did think we, we um, when he was doing the little kind of night, no, 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 sight. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He was. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, we did a skit of reenacting their uh, press run. I remember. Right. I remember. And he and my that's my brother. He Shaq. He been he on everything. Right. What did I say? We did the skit right before the fight. I was telling him I was like, all I'm saying is, Ryan Garcia is not no pushover. And that left hand is mean. But we we thought he was because when he fought Tank, he made him look average. Also, Tank made him look average, yes, but let's not forget, bro's a little depleted. Rehydration clause. I knew you was about to say that. No, no, no. no. If you look at how he looked against Tank, you look at his body, the way he looked against Haney. He's super heavy. He he weighed. No, he was drinking a beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 diabolical. Once he was drinking a beer, I said, "Okay, he he know what's up." He he like, and like they said, uh, <laughs> I think AB said, uh, "Yo, you can't wear polyester." He's sweating through his leg. He had he had you, you didn't see the shoes he had on? Yeah, ain't he? he had socks. It was he did. A, was it a? a Essential. He was looking. Essential. He was. He was, yeah. it was. It was. I ain't gonna lie. That, we ain't gonna lie like that one five though. No, it, it was, was very creative. Cool. It won. It won five. It was cool. I mean, it was. I would him. It was fear of God. I would up. I ain't gonna lie. In the but to fight. Nah, he had no breathing room. Come on, man. That's like this. He would have thought no. that it no. was heavy. Yeah. It, God it was, it couldn't. Was, God couldn't get between that fabric to save it. It was, it was fear. It was fear of God. What I was mad about that he didn't get away from that punch when he first felt it. 
I think once he got stunned and that, the, uh, and, and he and when he went yeah. and did that the first time, you know, what it made me remember, it made me think about when Jab Judah lost to uh, Kasuzu and he pointed, yeah, yeah, and then went back down. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how the chicken that's how the chicken hit. Yeah, it hurt me. I ain't gonna lie. It it felt like a brother of mine was when Zab Judah got knocked out, and when. Roy Jones got knocked out by Antonio Tarver. For me, when Roy Jones got knocked out by Antonio Tarver, that second time they fight fought, that hurt me. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. He me. was doing well. That was like, that was my that was my guy. That was that was that hurt me a lot. Yeah, yeah, it did too. Like the whole house, I remember being stunned. Me and my dad looked at each other, and, my, and literally we nobody. It was quiet. TV turned off. Music not playing. Everybody sitting around. Oh yeah, I my my dad's y'all y'all can go on upstairs, y'all can go on upstairs. Um, hey Luke, make sure you clean up and um, yeah. They, they was like, look, I'm talking about my dad got his homeboy. They like, Luke, what are you going to say? No, nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go upstairs, man. I gotta clear my head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, what's the reason Baby Boy is one of the greatest movies of all time? Because it relates to a lot of people, man. It relates to a lot of people. It's How real many, life. It's real life. Yeah. It's re- it take a little minute to get from the, what do you say, the, the, the mom's nest? It's a lot of niggas. Lot of niggas. You know? <laughs> you know? It's a mama. Lot. When he got choked. I, I couldn't go for that. I'm sorry. Don't go for your mama. That's it. You ain't, you ain't pee-pee licked head. Bruh. We Bing Rhames, that. Bing Rhames but, yeah, he did. He is did. low key diabolical in that he movie. He is, because I know he wasn't expecting that. He gonna come on now. Bing Rhames said, I think every he He ain't slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna ask the nigga he wants something. You want something from the eat? You want something from the snow? Hey, Fuck it, give me a bag of chip too. Yeah, I'd have got me something to eat. <laughs> hey, hey, what he he told he said that the scene where I think he was uh, butt naked cooking. Yeah. He improved that. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be that? He said, no, I'm going to be naked. Yeah, like, like I think that's whole. Damn, that just took it to another. Yeah. Love or respect. <laughs> you ain't seen it. <laughs> I hate the way. Now, I do hate the way BET be blur. I mean, I know they got to No, it's the funny. It I, no, no. I love that version, though. How they switch the voices up. You want a brother to do now. <laughs> my brother. Ah. Remember he came in, Tyrese, when he got jumped on by the dude, he said, I got jumped. Hey, Babu, buy some little gangsters. I some like loot. Some little gangsters. Oh, go get my gun. Yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with the clean birds. <laughs> Boss. Boss. Hey, uh, Omar Gooden was, Omar yeah, Gooden was, was, was fine yeah, in that movie. Yeah, he came. He showed up. No, 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 no. I yeah. love y'all. I'm in the new clothes. Bought me the new video gang. I'm tired of walking around her house like some little boy. Bought me the new video gang. All right, then I'm leaving. You want some cream soda? <laughs> some strawberry, <laughs> strawberry soda? Yeah, get him strawberry soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get in the house. <laughs> I thought I was gone, B. I thought I was gone, B. Yeah, he killed that. Being your brother's keeper. He killed that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to send you, trying to sell you this here merchandise. Trying to live my life right and sell you hit, he th- almost, this here merchandise. He almost got the sale. He did. He was a little aggressive. Yeah. That's he a, he ain't even have it on a hanger. He had it on two fingers. That's a clear example of scaring the hoes away. Yes. Yeah. Let's not shot them out because. Yeah, no. I had a cousin like that. He just say the wrong thing. He say, it's a girl that walked past. He was like, I look good in red. Oh, I look good in yellow. So I asked him, like, what, what you mean about that? They ain't have yellow or red on. That's a red bone. That's a yellow bone. I said, nigga, that don't, that don't sound good. So what's the reason? I'm not going to say hoes. What's the reason dudes be scaring the women away at the function? What's the reason? They they be nervous. They be nervous, and they don't got <sighs> that. They don't got that. You know, they not a player. They don't have that sauce. They don't. Yeah, it's it's and crazy. they see you with the sauce, and they try to use you as the wingman. And nah, if it don't work, no nah, man, then it's blood out something, and it just nah, cause cause see, listen, 
I know they charge extra for sauce, but you got to pay the price to walk to walk right. in these shoes. You're right, right. And you got to have it. You know? Yeah. It's, I, it's, it's got to uh, be in you, not on you. Come on, man. You know? It's... Right? This ain't... The sauce ain't a secret. It ain't. This is something that's passed down generation. Generation? It's inherited. It's... You know, certain sauce is generational wealth. Facts. Let's talk about it. Right? Let's talk about the reasoning of yeah. the sauce. The reason for the season. I'm <laughs> Hey, he's he swift. He's swift with him. <laughs> What's the reasoning for the seasoning, baby? I'm I'm like, you know what I mean? Cause think about it, bro. When you got sauce, you ain't gotta say much. You can walk in the room. That's how I be. I let my clothes speak for me, bro. I you know, I walk in and just you know, before I even was who I am now, I always been like and see, that's the, that's the true testament of sauce. Facts. When you don't have a fry to dip in your sauce and still can come out with something, you know what I mean? That's real talk. And I was around people that was established, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. I'm, I, bro, man, coming up, I'm I'm around dudes who on this level, that level, like they getting it right. Mm-hmm. I'm the I'm the I'm the I'm the small fry in the in the pond, right? Whatever. On paper I am. Exactly. Don't get it twisted, baby. But in reality. In reality, internally. I, I, you got that sign on your shirt to say, hi, my name is I'm him. Hello. Hello. That's a hey. Well, hey. Shit. Let me let me. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Come on, man. You thought that. Hey, bro. Hey, Taz. Hey, they call you Taz? Mm-hmm. Taz, man. Like, we, we, this. Hey, we. Well, no, nah, we. Nah, bro. Come we here. Seriously, bro. Because, see, you, you, see. Yeah. We there. Yeah, 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 What's the reason social media is a blessing and a curse? Man, social media is a blessing because it's making celebrities every day. Okay. You know what I mean? Like Facts. you don't have to be in the LAs, you don't have to be in the New Yorks to become mm-hmm. the it person. You can literally pick your phone up and you can become something. Yeah. Become an overnight success. But that clout is a drug because you get the you get the people that step outside themselves to get this verification from strangers that don't even know you. Mm. And it become a disease almost to try to like fall into it to get this head nod that we were talking about with the mics. Yeah. Get that head nod from people. Like you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get people crashing out. And then you can't, like once you become a celebrity, you can't do nothing because social media, they voices matter. You can't have a, you can't have your own opinion in public. You got to be calculated or everything because you have, People around the world that don't know you, they can just pick their phone up, not doing the same thing, not taking a sacrifice, not been through trials and tribulations mm-hmm. you've been through, can tell you who you are from a phone. Shout out to my boy Meek Mill, but stop listening to these people, bro, because he, he's breaking. You don't understand it because he know he a real individual, but he letting these people tell. How you going to have the world tell you who you are as a man? You can't. Mm. You can't fall for the status quo. You got to be your man. You you got to be your own man. You made yourself who you are from being different, standing out the crowd. So, so why so why try to rewind and be part of the crowd? You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, because we didn't made it over them. Yeah, I think I think sometimes when you when you like you say you go through trials and tribulations, you 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 climb hurdles or, mm-hmm. or leap hurdles or whatever, mm-hmm. right? You make it to a certain point, then sometimes it get lonely at the top. It does. Right? Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> the same peers or it changes. They do. The team sometimes changes. You yeah, look to your right, you look to your left, it ain't the same people that was there when you was coming up. No. So then you start to you start to find trying to find those pieces again. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, oh shit, where is that? Where is that? Then you look up and Listen to the wrong shit now. Because now you didn't pick the phone up and now you like, 
maybe I should go this way because the world right. want me to go this way. You didn't go that way at first. Nah. So basically, in order for it to not be a curse, stay yourself. Stay yourself, bro. Stay locked in. Channel. Have that tunnel vision. Be locked in. And forget all what the naysayers say. Because they still going to pick their phone up that they pay their phone bill. Still tune into what you're doing. Facts. What's the reason every man needs a woman? Backbone. Mm. Structure. Now, woman, not plural. Right, not... Right. Singular. Yeah. But you have to get the right woman around you because the wrong woman the wrong woman can break you as well. You got the ones that pour into you or take from you. Mm. So get you the one that pour into you and see your vision yeah. to be your backbone because, man, we just be trying to figure shit out. So once we on the go, we move impulsively so we don't really even see certain things. And if you got the right woman behind you, mm. she can see that, you know, and build. Maybe, 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 maybe you shouldn't. Got that chain. I've been yeah. wanting a house. Maybe you should. Yeah. Let's get a house. Yeah. Then you get a house, and then you start making more money. I think we should. Let's let's flip this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's what, but you get the wrong one. Let's get that Chanel bag. Let me get them shoes. So, then you just take it from me. So you think the wrong woman is a material woman? Because cause we all like nice things, mm. right? No, you can't say that. I can't say yeah. no. You can't say that because yeah. we all like nice things. Yeah, we want to look good. We worked hard, right? But because we kings and queens, yes. kings and queens was draped in, in in gold. Yes, see what I'm saying? So why not? It's in us. Why not show? It's in us. Why yeah. not show what we work? What we, what we got on? Exactly. We worked hard for this shit. But I see what you're saying. Like, I I don't need a woman who's a yes woman. Exactly. Tell me, tell hey hey bro, that shit. What the hell are you doing? That, that shit lame. lame. What? What? Exactly. What? Why do that? You doing that? When we when, when we start doing this? Exactly. Like that's what and and that's and we also gotta be that for our women. Yeah, we gotta lead. Like We're, exactly. We got some shit, bro. I hey man, and we ain't even rehearsed. No, this is my boy. <laughs> nah, real talk, bro. Literally, first time. Yeah. We sitting down chopping it up for real. That's how solid. That's how you know, like, nah, if, bro, if really, like, really real, solid, nah, bro. bro, that, like, because, you know, egos and all that stuff, and people, you know, folks that oh, I'm, I'm doing this, or you doing that, well, I'm doing this, or you doing this, I'm doing that, or whatever, nah. right? Or it's a, my, what I'm doing over here, it's man, he ain't doing what I'm doing over. Here. Who gives Facts. a damn? You know, my people's always told me. Don't worry about what somebody else eat because it don't make you shit. You know what I mean? So whatever they eating over there, it don't make you shit. You over there eating your own, whatever you eating over here to make you. You know what Say I mean? Say that again. What they eat don't make you shit. So I always move in that little, I can never <sighs> crash out if I'm always in my own lane. I can never crash. Because what you over there eating, they making my bowels move. It ain't. Damn, Pants. God. Hey. That's why I've been taught. When I used to get in trouble in school, what they eat don't make you shit. Why is you doing what they doing? You ain't stupid. You shooting dice in the bathroom. When the fuck you do that? Hey. Golly. That's a real thing. Facts. Because what you eat don't make me shit. It doesn't. And what I eat ain't gonna make you no, shit. I don't know what you eat. What you eat today? Hell if I know. What you ate? <laughs> None. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I ate, I mean you wouldn't know. Is it? That's it crazy. And you gotta be discreet on what you what eat. What you eat? Can't have everybody. That's what we talking about sauce. We're going back to the sauce. And if you're gonna let them know the sauce, they gotta be locked in. Gotta be discreet. I can't on tell what you the season eat. that I Gotta be discreet on what you eat. Because you can't get away with the rest of it. This shit is crazy. Well, write you a book, bro. <laughs> <laughs> write you a book. 
<laughs> what? Call that shit sauce. Sauce bite. Let me get my shit together. No, no, oh, for sure. Right. No, yeah. I, I'm not. <laughs> hey, hey, when folk help me, I help out. For sure. I seen that story you were talking about with Drewski, how he, you know, he reached back, you know, pulled you. He had to do that. That's a real nigga. You know what I mean? Nah. Both help me. Yes. I help out. Facts. That's how it was supposed to go. Show. Sure. Supposed to be locked sure. in. Our arms supposed to be locked, bro. Like, come on now. We do better together. Hey. Let me stop that. Hey. Whew. Dude. That was my bad. No, you good. You fucked me up with that one. Bro, what? I have never. You good? What song? Mm. That's my shit. Ain't no. Mm. 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 That's tough, but that's what. That's the, you know, that's what we was. That was on the American Games? Yeah. Mm. That's what I grew up on. That's that. That's that. The loudest one in the room is the weakest one. Fact. That's that vibe. You know what I mean? That's, that's that. That's that aura. That's like you say. It come down from generations. Facts. Like you Facts. know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's isms that was given to you. Facts. To to for you to be a father. Yes. A, a, a leader. Yes. You know what I mean? A, a, um, successful. Black man in America. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Bro, these. Damn. That fucked me up. Yeah. What? So that's why I never, like, just coming up, seeing other guys around me taking off. That ain't my time yet. It ain't my time. It ain't... My time gonna come. I'm doing all the right things. Yeah. You know what? Because when it's your time. Can't nobody take that away from you but me. Bro. When it's, when it's your time, you got to be. Because, see, look, what you said was Spike Lee, right? Mm -hmm. He say, he basically, you weren't ready yet. You ain't ready. That's okay. You know what I mean? That's okay. I done did auditions or whatever. I was going to go in a different direction. It's cool. Not my time yet. Mm -hmm. Been, I, was, but I, I was cut four times as a rookie in the NFL. Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Young, immature. That no hurt. That no be having you ready to just say fuck it all. That no, that no, that when you, that, the word no, it hurt as a baby and as a grown up. Man, because uh, when Empire was filming in the, in the city, they fucked me up. They told me no so many times. Damn. I don't know. They even said I was too cute for a role. I'm like, I'm just too, what? Too cute. They, I remember they was like, no, you, you, you just, well, like you, like, 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 what, like, like, like a boy, like boy band, like material or something. I guess I wasn't rugged. What the? Who was Girl, rugged they, on the on the Empire? No, they shattered me. I ain't gonna even lie. Like Empire, they whole casting system shattered me. But who was That's rugged like, on it? Do you remember nobody Empire? Nobody was rugged. On Empire. Uh, probably well, other than Terrence Howard. I mean, the most rugged I seen was my boy Chris Lofton. He was kid Fofo on there. Yep. He was kid Fofo. So. Okay. And then, Taraji was the most rugged to yes, me. Yes, she was the most, yeah, she was locked in. Taraji, and, what's, <laughs> and what was her assistant, my girl? Oh, Taronda, yeah. Taronda? Yeah. Taronda, that's my dog, that's yes. my girl. Yes, I gotta get, Taronda, Shout you gotta out. come on the show. Oh, she definitely, after she see this. Shot town shout out Ooh. to Taronda. You, her and Chris, they gotta. Yeah, I need, <laughs> the, I need the whole Shy. Um, and they say Shy City. I'm coming home again. Tell me, yo, do you think about me now and then? Do you think about me now and then? <laughs> I'm coming home again. Maybe we should start again. I'll be singing this shit on the side, though. I'll be singing you going crazy. <laughs> hey, who are your top five Chicago rappers? Oh, man. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to give it to uh the, the first person on the 
Mount Rushmore is Twister. Oh, no, I would just say oh, Mount Rushmore, my bad. Yeah. Let me just say Mount I'm about, I'm about to give it to Twister because he was one of the, man, the founders, the pioneers. Give it, And I grew up on listening to Twister and Do or Die, like, cold. Hey, Twister had, Twister had a mean run. Man, going but he crazy. Went on, on the rich screen. He went crazy. <laughs> he, he went, like, bro, For real. Through, the, through the 90s to the 2000s to the 2010s. Yeah. He could make you a celebrity. Man, he, would not. he went crazy. So him, yeah, for impact around the city. Um, Kanye, of course. Yeah, I said twist the first because he started first. Okay, Kanye. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chief Keith. Oh blah, bang bang. Bro, he changed this whole. This is how the when listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna interrupt you, but when. When Tank fought Ryan Garcia. And he brought that boy out there. I said, going to kill this boy. Literally, everybody in the I'm sitting. It's, it's uh, uh, Kai Sinat there. What's the other um, the white boy? Aiden. Everybody. Uh, uh, Duke Dennis. Everybody. Yeah. Literally, oh, we heard that. Hey, come to the back now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Love so, so. I said, he about to kill his boy. Bro, everybody said, oh, it's over. He about to kill he him. He says, over as he walking out. Yeah. He was like, when he, when he played that and came out, he gave me that vibe that little bad kid that smell like mothballs with, go- with silver teeth in their mouth. 100%. That know how to flip off everything. You put him on anything, he backflipping off flip, it. Nigga. And he landed on his feet. Beat the shot at anybody. Little, Good athletics. Little man man. Yeah. Little man man or something. Bad as hell. All right, so we got three. It's Mount Rushmore is four, right? Yeah, it's four. Uh, three. So we say, we said Twister, yeah. Kanye, Chief Keef. Yeah. And for the, the generation that's that's at the Chief Keef, that he inspired him, I would give it to Herb. That's my Herbo? boy. That's my boy. Shout out to Herbo. Herb, we got to get Herb. Hey, I fuck with Herbo. That's my boy. Herbo was one of my supporters. I fuck with Herbo. Man, I've hey, seen hey. that nigga like really... From day one, take off like. That's my boy. Like yeah. I, I know his uh his manager, uh Mickey and shit. And man, I was just around him and seeing how he just like took off and how he managed it. And he's super solid. Every time I see this man, like yeah, we solid. He trying to get into the acting world. Hey, Herb, stop playing, boy. We gotta make some shit happen. Cause he was on the show. Yeah, but After he was the, uh... he was Herb. Yeah, right, right, he right, right, right. Yeah. He was just checking out the chickens. But man, he got a crazy impact on the city, and he doing a lot of positivity. And I see he's doing stuff with mental health stuff yes. and everything like yeah, yes, yeah, me, yeah. We walked the same, bro. He lost a lot of his friends. Yeah, lost a lot of my friends. So I, I really shout out to him, bro. I really fuck with him. And the honorable mention, I'm gonna fuck with uh, with Dirk and Common, because we ain't gonna we ain't gonna act like Dirk and Common they have an impact on the city as well. You don't fuck with Dirk or Common? I don't fuck with Dirk. You don't fuck with Common? He put his. I never knew a la 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 a la like, like this. this. Gotta be something to speak to right, Jess. He going crazy. I just it's something. He going crazy. I'm if not, it went so if it went for him, we ain't gonna act like Kendrick ain't really listened to. I ain't say listen. Or I'm J. Not, Cole ain't really listened maybe to. Maybe it's just cause J. Cole is like a common. Is he not? A little bit? He ain't talking sense? No, no, no. You you know, it's common sense. Conscious rap. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's With the most depths and all them shit. You're you know? right. You're they right. had an era of that. No, you're right. He was the founder of one of them. No, you're right. And they was wearing they was wearing the uh yeah, the they was really high cool. hats and shit. Yeah, yeah, pro black. Yeah. I'm black, y'all. Yeah. You remember that scene? Black. Black. <laughs> black, <y'all. laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll give you that. Yeah. But yeah. Something about comedy just don't be I just he is Chicago, man. We we going No, I fuck with Chicago though. We gonna hold our people though. We don't. I fuck know. with. I fuck with. Hey, Shot Town. True story. 
2021. That's when stuff started to open up a little bit mm-hmm. more. That's when I met the dude Chris Chris Lofton. Yeah. At a, at a, bro, I'm out there. I'm out there chasing, you know, yeah. chasing coochies. Yeah. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly. And I'm out there, and we and um go to go to a couple spots. I've never really been in Chicago. You know, I did that to play, you know, mm-hmm. sports, but not right. to like hang out. Right. But Chicago lit. Yeah. For sure. The um. Uh, what's the what's crazy. that? They got the um. What's the like real exclusive stuff? What's the thing that you gotta have a membership? Oh, Soul House. Soul House. Yeah, right. That's like the hood, no. I ain't gonna lie. Tough Soul fight. House be having niggas. I know they ain't got no membership. They ain't. You know, you just walk straight to the door. Excuse might, me, sir, sir. Fuck it, let them. Man, y'all might as well stop charging, cause Soul House is not it's exclusive. The spot is not non exclusivity. Whoever that's a celebrity in Chicago, you just swinging and all that. Do not bring a side chick or somebody that you're trying to talk to in Soho House. It's not. You. It's no. It's. It's not exclusive at all. You go. Oh, he's, uh, they gonna. They gonna. They gonna. You yeah. gonna be seen. You are gonna be on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. But like I say, I, I, I when I, I and I definitely was out and they say the summertime in Chicago is the vibe. So yeah, I'm, we got we got uh we got boat week coming up next week. Okay. Just wanna. Go to this place called uh, in the lake. It's called the Playpen. We get all the boats. They tie them up together, and you literally can walk through all the boats and just party. It's one big party. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going next week for sure. One of my favorite movies on talking about boats in Chicago is The Breakup with Vince Vaughn. You ever seen The Breakup? Never seen it. You, you know he's from Chicago. I didn't know that. Vince Vaughn is. Yeah. That makes sense. He's a player. So, in closing. What's the reason you got to keep God first? Because he alpha and omega. He start and he ends it. So don't ever in your life think that you can get tricked into thinking that somebody else is or an entity that's bigger than something that's the creator of everything. Don't get blinded by the lights. And I promise you, manifestation and prayer, it will get you through a lot. And I said that because I went through so much, Mm. especially losing my grandmother and just keeping him first and just manifesting things and seeing how it's like coming to life is just like there's no other. Do not get tricked into all of these things and this money and this clothes and all that. All that can be scripted away and we talking about something that's within your within your shell, your spirit. Who in control of that? Who's the creator of that? Your spirit. The infinite thing that's going to never die out. Because mm. you're in that hearse it don't have a U-Haul truck. It don't. You can't take it with you. No. Nah. Can't take you it. You getting you. put away in some dirt. Mm-hmm. Your family going to rock with you for at least 1 to 5 years. Not even that. They tend I ain't going to lie. 1 year. Think about it. Most six funer- months. most funerals. Now, three pass bussing. Like you, this person ain't just die. When you hear when you <laughs> Food good. I knew it was some bullshit when my brother died. These niggas was taking club pictures in front of the limousine that we rode in. I said, I said, man, if you don't get your country ass off, what the fuck is you niggas doing, man? Niggas get more dressed up and fashionable for a funeral than a wedding. It's crazy. When I say you can't take it with you, I say, you got to, Prior, you got to prioritize your time on earth. Yes. You know what I mean? Your priorities yeah. can't be, like you say, money and this and that and thing. Yeah, we're going to provide. Mm-hmm. But don't get, don't, don't. Don't get caught up. Don't though. get caught up. Don't get lost in the sauce. That's it. That's it. <laughs> don't get lost in don't that sauce, man. Don't get lost in that sauce. Huh? What, what, what you say? Much solid, you lost, dog. <laughs>